faces. Looking forward to this fabulous hour. Um, and then we're back with a one day special before we have another lovely look at the Wee Woolly Wonderfuls. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty.
that opening. Can we just keep that going all year round? What a fabulous bunch we've got here at Achanda. Um, and I, of course, I am pleased to be bringing you the next, next hour because, well, we're talking food. And I love my food. I love my curries. So, yeah, I certainly have landed on my feet with regards to this show. Got some brand new guests. All brand new guests to me. You guys may have seen them already. But, of course, we are talking amazing curries. And we've got Gooch and Simran. Is yeah. that right? Yes, Did I get right. it right? Hi, or Ellie. close? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, it's the first time that we've worked together, so uh, good. tell me a little bit about you guys and how you come to be here today. Yes, yeah, so um, we, um, we've we been going about 10 years, Hayley. Um, it's actually me and my mum that sort of started. Oh, Hi, Mum. How's it going? Give mum a, you can't just call her mum. <laughs> yeah, mum, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, mum, Charlie. Hey. <laughs> um, so it started, uh, I was at university. Okay. Um, sort of studying, studying hard, and uh, <laughs> mum would kind of send me up um, some food packages, sauces oh, in Tupperware and that I type like of thing. I like Charlie already. Yeah, yeah, you know, and she was doing, <laughs> she was doing the thing, and, and my friends got to know what I was doing. Um, okay. Hey, what curry have you got there? What, you know, what, uh, they were having the burgers and I was having the curry. They started trying it and they absolutely <laughs> loved it. Okay. Um, so I basically decided to, um, yeah, to sell it to them, oh, and that's right. how we got going. So I think the eureka moment was when I, I had two people knock on my door. Um, you know, I didn't know who they were, and they sort of said, "Are you the lad with the curry?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, that's me." Right, go. And, and that's how we got going, and we've we've Love we've it. gone from sort of strength to strength in there, and we're in quite a few outlets now, and um, been nominated for some awards and wow. that type of thing. And, yeah, and it's, and it's a real honour to, to be on Hochanda now. Yeah, oh, it's great. Sure. Well, we're thrilled that you've come to work with us here. Now, you can see someone's very busy already. She's getting ready with these toes. So let me tell you about what we've got in the show. We've got various different ways for you to get hold of fabulous products that we're bringing to. And I love this. This is the perfect time of year to try something new, isn't it? And quite often, um, a gift pack is the perfect way of doing it. Because within a gift pack, you've got everything that you need. Now, with this particular one, it gets even better because we've got three different options with regards to of these dependent on what your palate is so whether you want to go for your mild your medium or you've got your hot with this one now i probably sit somewhere quite comfortably in the, in the, in the kind of the medium but tell me about the different options and the kind of flavors that we can expect within these yeah absolutely so um in the in the milder packs um you've got the um the tika one which is sort of we class it as a medium but it's very mellow you see, know i thought you were going to say korma when we were talking yeah, about mild you see, oh, okay. so, so we our range is slightly different so what okay. we're trying to do is we're trying to to keep offering that that love that mum sent to me that real yes. homemade cooking and korma essentially isn't very indian it okay. is, it's a restaurant style. It looks like something you should be rubbing in, yeah. really, the meat. And does it? It's more creamy yeah, than it, it is. Very creamy, curry. very yellow. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, that's, and a lot of people like that, so we're not knocking a korma. Okay. <laughs> I won't ever do that on their, on TV, guys. <laughs> you know, and a, a lot of people love their kormas. Um, what we're trying to do is just give you a bit of a, the homemade style. Okay. And I personally believe, it's only my theory, mm -hmm. that makes our curries a lot milder. Ah, um, okay. Now, it, whenever I go into a restaurant, I feel like they make uh, more money out of beer and drink uh, right. than, than sometimes they don't the food. think about the food. Yeah, right. exactly right. Okay. And so therefore, curries tend to be really hot when you go into a restaurant. Yes. You, you have that, you know, you have uh, straight away. You get mum's mum's not bothered about that at all. Yeah. It's all about the flavours. It's all about the taste. So you've got that authenticity exactly with these. Right. Yeah. So Love it. in these and, and even in the medium or the hotter ones, we've got. Lots of flavour first, okay. and a little bit of a building heat if you, you know, that will come through. So it's almost through. like that tonal effect when exactly. you're eating it. Love yeah, it. Yeah, exactly right. So Do that's it. what people are going to expect. So it's nothing to be too daunted about. And I love that we've got Boxing Day curry sauce. Could we use turkey with that one, perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> what we've done, um, probably a good time to show you this, Hayley, actually, okay. is um, we, we really wanted to show you today um, how what we do on Boxing Day, and I know a lot of people do it, and okay. hopefully this will make life a bit easier. So Simran's got um, her um, turkey and roast potatoes, oh, the fat. vegetables you oh, would I'm use on, on Christmas Day. Okay. And so she's just going to show you exactly how easy it is to... So these can um, be leftovers. Exactly right. Use the leftovers. You know, you've always got to do something on mm -hmm. with those things. You know, we like a big feast, we like a big Christmas dinner, always leftovers, um, and, and this is how... Um, this is how you can do it. So that pan's sizzling away. What have we got in the pan? So this is the box 
Boxing Day curry. So all I've done is just pop the whole jar straight into the pan here. Okay. Um, because we tend to like our curries a little bit hotter, I have chopped up a green chilli here and I'm going to add some green chilli into there. So you can add to these as well if you want to. Oh then. yeah, most oh, definitely. Right. You can add, either you can add chillies, yeah. um, if, you, if you know, let's say, um, I don't know, Dad likes it hotter, you can add yeah. chillies to his. Um, let's say um, kids like it milder, so you could also add some cream to it by the same token. Oh, okay. So the same curry you could add, you could have two different ways. It's almost just to taste. Exactly right, ah. so you don't need to be too worried as to, you know, um, oh, I've got this one jar and it's not going to feed everybody. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to keep everybody happy. Now, is the turkey gone into the other pan there? So that one here, I'm just popping waste not want not, so clear out the whole jar with a little bit of water. <laughs> if you have a look like here, enough. shall we show the jar? Yeah, of course. So if you show the jar, I don't know if anybody's ever, sort of, everybody must have swilled out a jar, but I don't yes. know if you can get closer to that. But there's absolutely no fat, no residue in that jar. That's it's a absolutely really good point. clean. Yeah. And that just shows. So when again, going back to this restaurant curry, we're trying to show the other side to the coin. Have you ever been into a restaurant, had that curry and gone, oh, I feel heavy. Yes. I feel yeah. heavy after. Always, I might, I don't, yeah. Every time really, yeah. isn't it? And you go and it looks very oily on top. Yes. And the next couple of days you're not feeling so clever mm -hmm. and, and you kind of just deal with it. Well we have honestly, without exaggerating we have between let's say between 20 and 25 curries a week every week this is our diet you know yeah, we, yeah. We, you know three times a day it's how we're brought Can up I come and, and live with you guys? yeah I mean, you've got come over. Room. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but so you can't have that you can't have that fatty that 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 kind of um, oily residue yeah, and yeah. that's and that's and what it you've can got always give you like a film across your mouth exactly when you've eaten right, and it's, yeah, yeah it, it's not a, a yeah. pleasant experience so i think we've got potatoes in one of those hands yeah well. so so this is what you can do with your roast potatoes so oh, i'm taking your glory no, no, so go for it, go for it. <laughs> um, can you explain what you're doing because yeah I'm... so basically what i'm doing in this one here is i've taken our uh, marinade so we have the roast potatoes here. So what I've done is a little bit of our garlic infused marinade there. Um, I've added a little bit to the pan with a little bit of oil, just heated it up slightly, and then just added in some roast potatoes that we've had and just trying to get that color back into it. There's some really good flavors. Marinade is not just for, um, you know, just grilling meats and things like that. You can use it in the curries as well, um, just to give it that extra little punch as well of flavor. Yes. So you can see all I'm trying to do here is just crisp up the potatoes again, once again, heat them through. And then I'll be adding the Bombay potato jar straight into it and just letting it cook through. Um, now I'm just looking at the, the labeling that we've got on uh, one of those marinades here. And these are things that uh, can be very important, and I've not mentioned these before. Looking at things like gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and vegan. Obviously, that depends on what you're adding them to. But this is amazing. I mean, Charlotte, our producer, she has a nut allergy. Um, so, of course, a lot of things she's having to sit there and she's having to read labels yeah. and make sure things are everything OK. Yeah. But, I mean, look at that. That oozes quality, doesn't it? That looks absolutely amazing. And like you said, there's no grease in us with that. No, yeah. no, absolutely. It's all about the flavour. All about the taste, fresh spices. Um, I've got a dairy allergy. Actually. Okay, I've got, so, yeah. Um, and that, that's actually come in the last couple of years. So not so much because we start, you know, we didn't do it around that at all. But and you know, dairy and nuts are the hardest ones to find in curry. Yeah. If you if you see um, sort of any curry sources, mostly they'll have um, dairy in there or, or nuts in there. We don't have any of that, so you can be really safe and, and sound in all of our ranges, nut-free. Oh my goodness, look at this going into that bowl. That looks like, oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Um, and uh, it smells absolutely fast. I wish that you could just literally scratch your, see, um, your oh. screen and smell what I'm smelling here in the studio. But look at that. The richness that you've got there, the gorgeousness that you've got in there, that is looking absolutely amazing. And of course, that is using some of the elements within your festive gift pack. It's made up of so many different elements. So you've got, got of course, those gorgeous pastes. You've got one of those that is um, the classic style with this one. You've got your garlic infused with this particular one as well there. You've got all of your fabulous jars. Um, and of course, you've got these smaller um, jars as well. The smaller jars being your fabulous chutneys, which are amazing. I love these. 
These are always nice. Have a little bit of nibble on while the rest of it's cooking. Oh, absolutely beautifully. Especially if you've got, um, I don't know if you guys do, but we do, um, you know, cheese and crackers. You know, yes. we do cheese and crackers yeah. on, well, have a, have a bit of the, the, you know, the Indian chutney with it. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. You know, a, a, a mango and apple chutney is absolutely beautiful in its flavours and goes lovely with the cheese. Um, and, and, you know, it's just something a little bit different. So, you know, you get the piccalillies and all these types of things well, that we can also do. I this love as well. that idea. Now, of course, the gift patch, you've got your three different options as well, with regards to those £24.99 and pence. Every one of those jars, those packets, a jam pack full of fabulous flavours. And of course, it's kind of like Mama knows best with regards to these ones. Um, and I love you, Charlie. She used her inspiration, her, um, well, I'm guessing family recipes to, uh, that get passed on. Yeah, absolutely. So, Mum, um, Mum always quotes um, uh, uh, my grandma, my dad's mum, her mother in law, okay. as uh, somebody who really taught her how to, and my, my grandma made a a serious curry, you know, she was fantastic, um, as all grandmas are. Of um, course, yeah. So we, we um, she really sort of, uh, yeah, uses her as the inspiration um, as part of her cooking, really. Yeah. Um, and and what have we got going into the bowl now? These are Bombay potatoes. So this yeah. is a Bombay potato, this one. It's, uh, honestly, I'm using all my willpower not to just have a little, <laughs> just, a, just a little spoonful. <laughs> Come back and see that the dish is empty, yeah. we know what you've been up to. Um, and again, I mean, it's just got everything that you need there. So the, the ingredients yeah. that were in the, are in the jars, and we've got recipes to help us um, know what to add to these jars. Yeah, absolutely. So on the, on the back of the jar, as you would expect, you've got, um, you've got three very simple steps that all you need to do is just follow them, boom, boom, boom. And what it is, is uh, the way I see it, is it's like scratch cooking with a head start sometimes. If you want to be a bit more adventurous, if you really want to say, look, I'm going to add my, um, you know, I'm going to add my creme fraiche, I'm gonna, you've got this, this will keep you safe. Um, you won't go too far wrong. Um, and it, you know, you'll be able to really take it where you want to go with it as well. You love it. Now, of course, we were talking about the mild option, which I've taken you through there. Um, incidentally, I haven't mentioned the fact that you're getting your naan bread with these as well. Of course, it's safe, isn't it, when you're talking about curry. Now, we've moved on to the medium. Now, with regards to the medium, what can we expect to find in this selection? Yep. So, um, in the medium, uh, we've got the keema curry sauce. Okay. Um, keema curry beautifully. So, keema actually literally translated means mint slam. Oh, I um, see. Okay. So you can do it, of course, with corn mince. You can do mince lamb. You could do mince beef. You could do it however, whatever you like. We do mince turkey quite a lot, actually. Okay. Just to try and be a little bit So healthier. with the keema, just so in any, because if you're mentioning about lamb there, this, this hasn't actually got the lamb no, in the so jar. So they're vegan. So it's the, still vegan. Exactly okay. right. The whole, the whole range is vegan. Okay. Um, all you need to do um, is put whichever vegetables or, um, or whichever meat meats you yeah. want to, a um, bit of sauce and a bit of water and, and it, you know, we're, we're minutes away from an, ama an amazing curry. Um, I think you're going to do a keema pizza later? Oh, you know, doing, doing a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're right, with a bit of a twist to Hayley, it. you're going to love this. You <laughs> are love this now, within this particular set, obviously you're going to get your large jars that we spoke of a few moments ago. Of course, you've got your keema that we were just chatting about there. Your butter chicken, now that sounds amazing. Classic Punjabi and the Boxing Day curry sauce again. And then with this one, you're looking at your medium variation of these. Of course, you're going to get your marinades and your paste again within this one. Of course, your classic and your garlic infused. And again, you are going to get those chutneys. So some of these elements are going to be exactly the same as you're going through. But then, of course, you're kind of ramping up the intensity when it comes to those larger jars that you can see with regards to those. You're still going to get your numbers And you've got a fabulous bundle of goodies here that you're going to have loads of fun with. 243065. It's the same item number, so you might be going for a set for yourself and then a set as a gift pack for somebody as well. Because, of course, they're on the same item number, so there's no additional post and packing. But um, this is your medium selection with regards to these. Now, the next option that we've got for you, what have we got with this one? Um, Naga chili, a tasty tamarind, a classic Punjabi, and the Boxing Day game featuring there. So tell me about Naga chili. I've not heard of Naga oh. chili before. So, yeah, so Naga chili is, um, it was originally from Punjab. Um, okay. it, was a, it was a place called Naga Land, named okay. after a Naga snake. And, oh, really? and it was, uh, Yeah, that's a bit that's of the history about where it comes from. It now, um, it now comes from Dorset. We actually get the Nagas from Dorset. Um, so is the Naga so a spice or a vegetable? Or? It's a, it, Naga is actually a type of chilli. Oh, so you get the green, um, the green sort of bird's eye chilies. Yes. Um, these are sort of, uh, sort of fatter. 
uh, dumpier chilies. You'll see them in the supermarket sometimes now. Okay. Sort of red and yellow they come in. Okay. Um, they're quite potent. Um, they're not, you know, you wouldn't want one sort of straight off. Um, however, just, just if you just use them sparingly, yeah. um, as we've sort of done here, you get a lovely flavour, a beautiful flavour. You get a lovely spice from it. Um, and it really works well. So my favourite curry of all time is actually Naga lamb. Oh, um, okay. And um, to <laughs> sort of put my money where my mouth was, in a sense, um, at mine and Sim's wedding, we had Naga lamb on the menu to 500 fa fairly critical Indian people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, everyone's, no, no. everyone's got a palate. Yes. Um, and we put it out, and it just got raving reviews. Um, you know, people didn't know. Oh, I didn't tell anybody. Amazing. I didn't say this is our. I just yeah. put it on there, oh, and uh, people fabulous. absolutely loved it. Yeah. I love it. Now there's lots of cooking going on. So what we've seen in the pot this time? So with this one here. So this will be the vegetable korma. So I've used a lot of the roasted vegetables um, that you might have left over as well, and not know what to do with. So I've put some potatoes in there and some vegetables, and just used um, the marinade again, just to give it a little bit of. Um, punchier flavour and a little bit of colour as well just before um, we add the jar and things like that. So I'm just They're trying to get using the... leftovers then. Oh yeah. yeah. We so, so we not. said we said we didn't have a, a corner, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you can't make a a, a corner style. Okay, so this okay. is our well, version. Yeah. Adding the yes. cream to it. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. So what which jars are you using for this one? So this one I'll be using the mild one. Okay. So that's a mild Punjabi uh, classic sauce. So it's a bit more like um I don't know, it, it's just like a, a, a base basically that you can just create yeah. whatever you well, fancy I, with I it. always call it, if you want to know what the classic is, I always call it the Indian lady's gravy. Oh, um, that's yeah. a good way of putting it. The Indian lady's it. gravy because it, you know, she makes it um, with, a, you know, with a hands tied around her back. Or my Sim's got her version, Mum's got her version, every sort of lady will have theirs or every person. It's kind of like the foundation that you're adding it, to. Exactly so, right, oh, yeah. See, yeah. And, and this is the one. Um, is this is exactly the one that you want to be Look using? Um, uh, it's stunning. And Absolute again, there's stunning. no oil there. There's no grease sitting on the surface. There, you can see it's all no. that gorgeous flavour going in there. Yeah, ab absolutely. It, it, this is this is the one that if you want to be a bit more adventurous and you want to take, you, you know, you want to make this curry or that. This is the one you can start with, and you can really take that wherever you want to exactly go. Adapt it for the different yeah. family yeah. palette. Yeah, exactly right. You've, you've got all your onions, your ginger, your garlic, coriander, tomatoes, fresh spices. You know, it's all in there for you, ready to go. That's and you're amazing. just, you know, you're having a bit of a head start. Can you imagine coming home on a Wednesday night, mm -hmm. a bit tired from work, you know? Um, and just, yeah. just do you do takeout? Can I just ask? Yeah. Because this is our last show. And it, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. quite easy to take this back with me. We'll, we'll do the software again, just like you need again, yeah. Hayley. Or the view of Q. Everything yeah. in the gallery is salivating in the studio. It smells absolutely incredible. And you can see that. I mean, this looks like you, you'd almost see it in a glossy magazine. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, now, with regard to this, obviously you've got your gift packs, you've got your three different options. So many of those elements are, are going to be similar. So you've got kind of your, your marinades in there now. What are you adding to it? What is that going in here now? This is that flour that's going in there. I actually put a bit of um, coconut cream into it because obviously oh, okay. with kormas, you can, um, they're a bit more sweeter in flavour okay. um, and obviously a little bit more milder but yeah coconut cream just before we add the actual cream as well it just gives it that sweet sort of undertone um, to the actual yes. curry. You know, something like this even if you like it spicy I like quite spicy yeah. curries like I say my favourite sonaga but something like this on the on the side of a chicken so if you've got a spicier chicken and you could perhaps put this korma recipe on the side so you've got both the, the kind of the sweeter and the spicier. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Lovely. really. Now nice. the cream is coming out. Now does it matter what type of cream we're working with? Um, not really. Um, you could even use creme fraiche, you could use um, you could use Greek yogurt, okay. um, any sort of dairy, um, or even if you if you have the allergy, you can also use soya products as well, um, or you know, any other sort of substitute as okay. well if you yeah. wanted to. Lovely. Just gonna pour the cream in. Oh <laughs> yeah, Ooh. yeah, go for it. I pretend I can help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's you just what happens at home. <laughs> uh, look, we are so, so busy. Now, I don't know which of the options is big. You'd be nice to have to learn this. I mean, they are very, very similar in kind of setup. 
So you've got your mild, you've got your medium, you've got your hot. And of course, each one yeah. of these is adaptable. Just as you heard there, you can add your cream to dilute elements out. You can add in your chilies if you want to heat, to put a little more heat in there. Now, lots of you are kind of going the way I would potentially go with this, with your medium, because this is kind of like your halfway point. So perhaps if you're not too sure, this is a good way to start, because as you heard there, you can like dilute them down, you can enhance that flavor. And I love the fact that you've got everything that you need in here. So you've got your jar. And of course, in there, you've got the most incredible quality um, elements in there. So whether you are thinking that you're needing to kind of go towards vegan options, then of course, you can add your vegetables to these if you wanted to go to a meat eater um, option. You can add your chicken, you can add your lamb to these if you wanted to. You've got your chutneys. So as your starters, you are ready with your chutneys. But as you heard, uh, such a fabulous idea with the cheese. I love oh, yeah. that idea. An alternative for your cheese, oh dear, your cheese um, and your biscuits. Maybe add some of those spicy um, little chutneys in there. And of course, you've got your marinades there as well. And with your marinades, I can see that the things that are being cooked there on skewers. So could we use these in, in that respect as well, if you wanted to kind of barbecue something? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So if you've got if you've got the barbecue, um, you can also grill them in the oven. Um, oh, okay. You can, you can um, sort of just to pan fry them and skew they're brilliant um, and that doesn't mean you have to just do them in we you can of course do them in the summer but hopefully if you buy them today they won't last that long i've got a feeling um, they would be fortunate yeah. to last to the end of the week <laughs> exactly. in my house I to think, be honest uh, yeah. um, now with these when we're talking about obviously mentioning barbecues it's not the best barbecue weather at the moment so what sort of shelf life have we got with these when they're unopened yeah so um, the marinade specifically have got 18 months Oh, okay, so you've got perfect. 18 months of literally all these products have just been made as well. Wow. Um, you know, you can imagine with everything that's going on, we've been incredibly busy. Mum's been super busy, oh, you know, so. helping to make and everything. So it has been, um, yeah, it's been a, been a really uh, And the jars, is it a similar sort of idea? Yeah, so the, the jars are two years. Oh, um, wow, even yeah, more Yeah, the jars so, yeah. are two years, again, just made. So, I mean... But I you're think, not buying these to think, oh, I'm going to have that in two years' exactly time, Exactly right, yeah, we're hoping that... That's why I suppose we never really that's mentioned... That's planning they just, ahead. They just go, yeah. Um, I mean, the, the good thing as well, what I must mention, is you've got the 18 months in the marinades, you've got two years, you've got two years in chutneys, nothing's got any artificial preservatives in. Oh, right, Yeah, okay. nothing, there's no artificial colours and um, preservatives and, and that type of thing. It's all um, natural, pure ingredients. I love it. Yeah. Now look at this. This is, I think, this is the korma that we've just seen created. Um, a few little kind of toasted almonds on the top there. That's right. Like yeah. It? Just, I just thought I'd put some some almonds on it. You can, you can put almonds in it as well. Um, you don't have to put uh, coconut cream if you wanted to. Um, I just thought I'd make it a little bit more decorative. <laughs> I mean, looks, I can't on top. Believe you've cooked all of these, and we're only about twenty minutes into the hour. This yeah. is phenomenal. <laughs> I love it. So, as you said, I mean, this is the thing, if you're wanting to do a meal quickly and you've obviously got your pre-cooked meats, then yeah, you Ab can do. Absolutely. And you're off again. What are we doing now? Yeah. So, um, the next one I, I was thinking about was the mashed potatoes. So, sometimes you have extra mashed potatoes in your um, in your roasts, uh, Sunday roasts, yeah. Christmas yeah. roasts, whatever it might be. Um, so, the next best thing I thought was, well, we, we use it just for um, shepherd's pies or anything oh, like yeah. that. So I thought you could create that as well. Um, so I've used the keema curry base, which is in one of the um, packs as well. Um, so what I've done is just pop the jar straight in, added some um, chopped chilies and coriander to it, just to give it a little bit of taste. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and then just literally added my mint. Um, what I tend to do at home is do it a bit, I add raw mints into it, just so it absorbs a lot of the flavors. Here I've just done par, par cooked mints. So um, I'm just literally browning it off. Um, and then what I'll do is add a handful of um, peas and carrots to it as well. Let it literally saute up and then just layer it up just like a, a shepherd's pie as you would at home. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. Now, of course, if you do want to go for that, um, the, the keema, um, just mentioning with regards to that one, the keema is in the middle, um, the kind of the medium range that we've got with this one. Um, you're going to get your three full jars, whichever the options that you go for. But if you are wanting the keema featuring it there, as you can see, and of course, you've got your naan and you've got your paste in there um, as well as your, your chutneys. 
Um, I got myself all caught up with these fabulous gift packs. We've actually got other goodies that you might like to add into your basket as well. Um, now, these are names, and I'm going to ask you about these ones because, of course, they're familiar names. Danzac. I know Danzac has been. Is it a tomato based curry? Yeah, so Danzac, it's got the lentils in. Danzac. Okay. Um, it's got a, a tangy, sort of sweet and tangy sort of flavour as well. Wonderful. Um, so, this is everything you've got. So, in there, you've got the yellow box there, you can see, is the. Uh, you've got a lentil and a dal paste, um, and you combine those together. Um, you've also then got the uh, tamarind to go with it, which will give it the tangy sort of flavour. You've got the marinade, the garlic marinade, to, to do your, any chicken or vegetables you want to marinate and put into. Um, and then, yeah, you've obviously got the other jars, a bit of a bonus as well. Well, that is a phenomenal, but £14.99 for all of that. Absolutely amazing. So 863063 if you want to know. Now, biryani, this is another one of the packs that we've got available for you as well. And again, biryani, I think of biryani being a rice-based curry. Exactly right, yeah. So biryani, um, the key to a, an amazing biryani is having um, tender, really marinated and, and succulent chicken or whichever flavour you're going to have in there, so whether it be lamb or, or vegetables. So that marinade there is, is really key. So you get the 500 gram of rice as well. That's the best grade of basmati rice you can buy. That is like, yes. that is a, it comes in the top grade, so it won't stick together and bind together, that type of thing. Um, and then you've got your buttered chicken as well. Um, and you've got your classic, classic as well. So. I love it. Yeah. Um, and again, a bumper bundle, fourteen ninety nine. Again, for those We're talking incredible quality with that, uh, with the whole range here. Obviously, this one is your ultimate biryani. Um, if you are wanting to go for that one, so three four one one three two. And some of those different elements that you've got there, you will have noticed from those festive gift um, selections. So we've got one item number, three different options. You've got your mild, you've got your medium, and you've also got obviously your hot option with regard to these ones. But of course. The things that we are realising with these is whether you've got nut allergies, whether you've got dairy allergies, whether you're um, eating a vegan um, diet, all of these can be catered for with these because with all of these, you can see from the jars, you are okay. Of course, you're going to add elements in there. So you might be adding your meat-based um, elements. You might be adding in plant-based elements. Of course, you can add whatever you like to these, but when they start off, they are dairy-free, they are nut-free, they are vegan um, and sugar-free as well. So if you are watching what you're eating as well. And that's the other thing. Sometimes when we're seeing sources, and I remember seeing this, there was an article once on the TV, and I was shocked at how much sugar can go into those kind of pre-packed sources that you can Absolutely. buy. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a hidden, it's a real hidden thing, isn't it? It's always in... Uh, various kind of cooking sauces or just where you wouldn't expect it to be, I yes, think. Yeah. And with us, you know, we would never, mum would never oh add my sugar. Goodness. Um, and so that's Look what we did. This. So this is, yeah, this is the uh, I'd never thought of doing a shepherd's pie this style, but yeah. I'm certainly going to do it now. This <laughs> is it. I mean, imagine, you know, if you've got your, uh, your mashed potato left over from, you know, from Christmas dinner, look how easy that is to do. You've got something to do with it really easy. Um, you know, maybe you've got a bit of a, a sore head boxing day. You know, <laughs> if you're anything like us. Um, so, you know, just something really quick and simple, but I mean, honestly, so tasty. And again, cooked so quickly. I mean, I was going to say about whether you can cook and freeze items, but it's so quick there to actually make it fresh, then there's no need to, to really freeze it. No, absolutely. I mean, you can, of course you can. You know, if you're, if you're on your own and mm -hmm. you, you're thinking, well, actually this jar's portions. four portions, um, then you could, yeah, of course, you could just do what I was doing at university. You know, use it, make it, freeze it, uh, pull them out as and when you're convenient to. Absolutely brilliant. I but. Love it. Um, what I would say as well, mm -hmm. just on that note of four portions a jar, if we look at the value of each pack... Well, um, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we're looking at four, four portions a jar, you know, averagely. So we're looking at, well, 16, 16, 16 meals Plus then you've got jars. the marinades, which will make True, yeah. extra things. So let's call it, conservatively, 20, 22 portions, mm -hmm. for plus your chutneys, plus your naans. All for fifteen pounds. That I mean, phenomenal. that's. Yeah. I mean, it's it's good value, isn't it? Oh, this is it. Now, of course, the details that we've got on your screen there are for your festive gift pack. So you are going to get everything. You're going to get naan breads in there. You're going to get your sauces in there. You're going to get your chutneys, your marinades, all coming together as a fabulous price. And obviously, it's all coming together now. Whether you want to give the whole lot as a gift to somebody, or whether you want to take out a couple of those bits for yourself, then uh, yeah, go for it. But I would suggest that you would um, go for a couple of these because when you get them back and you realize the quality that you've got within these gift packs 
you will want to keep them for yourself. Of course, you could be going for one of these festive gift packs and then choosing either perhaps the Danzac or maybe going for the Biryani. But how about, oh my goodness. <gasps> Let's just pause for a moment. I think, <laughs> I think we just need to savour this. This <laughs> looks amazing. Oh my goodness. And this is an alternative to you. Your humble shepherd's pie. I mean, it's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. This is. Um, I mean, it's just. It's See just it wholesome, inside. hearty, home cooked food. You know, that's what it is. Oh. Yes, you. Yes, it's you've got a food almost. Isn't it? It's exactly good for right. Soul. Yes, yeah. you're using a jar. And I know some people say, "Well, how can it be home cooked out of a jar?" This, but when I'm telling you, my mum, mm -hmm. you know, it's her recipes. I mean, how, how many times can you buy a jar and somebody says, "That's my mum's recipe"? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that is quite unique and. And it's definitely worth a go, you know, oh, for sure. It's, it's, it's fabulous. And uh, as I say, I reiterate, the smells that we've got in here, the fragrances that are coming through. And it's the knowledge that you're going to get within, within these jars. That is the key thing. Everything at Holton, from the kind of the, the family ethics, the, the kind of the history, the story, the love that goes into these jars is in um, in um is incorporated but of course it's the quality of the ingredients as much as the love that has gone into these three different options with the details that we've got on your screen now each one of these options is adaptable and as you heard earlier on you can be adding things like your cream if you want to kind of make these into a more mild version you can add in your chilies if you want to kind of uh, heat up the moment now with these you will find that each one of these sets you're going to get four of your large jars now we're looking at the mild at the moment so you've got your fabulous bombay potatoes uh, we saw that being used with the leftover roast potatoes how amazing is that chicken tikka and masala could be something that you're creating with this or maybe you'll be using your boxing day turkey to add to that particular one your classic punjabi sauce what are you going to be adding into this one i suppose it could be seafood if you want it could be adding prawns to these as much as you're adding your meat and then of course your boxing day curry sauce absolutely amazing now all of these coming within your mild option but then you've got the addition of those chutneys the chutneys can be used with things like your poppadoms if you want to. You can be using these, as you heard, cheese and biscuits, biscuits, fabulous idea. And then you've got your marinades. So your marinades, if you may be doing things, maybe you are cooking them um, in almost like a wok or whether you are putting them onto skewers. It's a fabulous way of you getting those flavours into those incredible mediums that you're working with. But it doesn't stop there, you are getting your naan bread. And these are kind of like a fundamental, aren't they, when you're talking um, with regard to curries and Indian cooking. So again, you have got your tandoori plain there. And you've got your um, garlic coriander. There's two naans in each one of those packs. And again, that is kind of the contents that you're getting in any of those four options. But that one is the mild. The medium, again, slightly hotter with regards to this one. But again, you can add to these as well. Now, this is the most popular option. Again, you're going to get your Boxing Day curry sauce featuring in there. You're going to get your classic Punjabi. You've got your butter chicken and your keema. And as you heard, keema, perfect if you like a little bit of a lamb in your curry. The chutneys, again, you're going to get more of those in this one. And again, your marinade paste. And again, your four naan breads, again, ready for you to tuck into the moment that you've got these all prepared. And that one is proving to be the most popular of the options. I think it's good advice with that one. But if you're feeling brave, if you like your hot curries, then this is the one for you. Again, your naga chili, you've got your tamar in there, your classic Punjabi, your Boxing Day, and of course, you've got your fabulous little elements with regard to your, your pickles and your chutneys. Now, I was just looking at the pickles. This one, has this one got a slightly different flavour? We've got poppadom in this one. So I've noticed with this one, we've got a different chutney in this particular yeah. one. Yeah, so, so that one's the, um, the mango and apple one. Mm -hmm. So just a little twist on your standard, you know, normal mango that you'd get in your restaurant, your dipper. Um, this is the, uh, the the mango and apple, and then okay. So that's in the, that's in the media, but in the, the heart, so I noticed we've got, we've got a, lime, a lime a pickle. lime pickle. Yeah, we've got sorry. Um, yeah, we've got the lime pickle, which is yeah. If you like that zesty, yes. that real yeah. tangy sort of flavour. What I will say is a lot of people don't, they, they eat lime pickle with their uh, poppadoms in the in the restaurant. That's when yes, they serve yeah. it. That's not traditionally how how we would eat it. To be okay. honest, what we we tend to do is eat it with our main meal. And it just a little bit just really sets off the flavour and gives it that lovely uh, zesty flavour to your chicken curry or to, to, to so your... more uh, of an accompaniment, so perhaps like we might have cranberry sauce or something like that on exactly. the side of the plate. Oh, okay. Exactly right, yeah. Just yeah. like that, really. Um, it's just something to give it that lovely sort of zesty flavour and it works. Some people, I think if you have it neat, some people may find it very strong. We're trying to 
again, just trying to show how, how we would eat it, really, and maybe people enjoy that way as well. I love it now. I'm just sizzling away again now. What we've got going on here. So, um, what I thought I'd show you, everyone, is basically our marinade. Um, so, what I'm doing here is I'm going to pop some marinade into um, this pan here. Okay. So probably about one tablespoon's worth, or one level tablespoon, and then I'm going to put some Greek yogurt into that. So two parts. Okay. I'm going to mix that through. You probably see that. Right and what you've got in here is you've got all the spices. It smells absolutely delicious. Exactly. Yeah. You've got all the spices you got the um and it doesn't give you that glowing sort of color either and um, that you do get in some sort of marinades these are all sort of natural ingredients as well so all proper home cooked stuff um, that give you the proper sort of flavors um, and that's true, sometimes you, you will look at a marinade and it almost it looks like it sounds like a daft thing to say but it almost looks man-made it doesn't look natural yeah. So it can almost be too vibrant in colour. Almost or... glow in the dark, <laughs> isn't it? You, know, <laughs> you kind of you kind of need sunglasses to look at your chicken. Um, yeah, this is very very natural, as you can see. So um, raw chicken going into the marinade. Yeah. So you just coat that chicken up, and then you can marinate it for a, a, up to sort of minimum 20 minutes, uh, maximum as as long as possible. Obviously, the yogurt acts as a tenderizer for your um, for your actual. Um, meat um, so and it comes out really really good you can either did you cover this and put it in the fridge overnight yeah yeah sure okay. that's yeah. probably the idea the the better. that's probably Most the idea definitely. yeah you can do, do 20 although somebody like Simran who's very organized and, and very good will well, do, can that. do that from what um, she's been cooking. exactly right <laughs> somebody like me who's kind of doesn't know you know oh, I'll just try this and that well, I've, I've marinated it for 20 minutes and it still comes out amazingly. Yeah. So, and that's down to so, the quality of the ingredients. Exactly right, yeah. down, to, down to the, you know, the lovely flavours, really. Um, but, yeah, honestly, Katie, you're going to love this. Oh, what, 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 what Sim's cooking up. Um, so we're going to do a tandoori chicken pizza. A tandoori chicken pizza, right, okay. A tandoori okay. chicken pizza on good. a naan bread. So okay. this is just something else you can do. So a naan bread with some, um, you know, with some of our, was it the classic you're putting on there? See, yeah, this is um, it. I like it'll the be idea the of this because sometimes family members. I, I've got a son who's 19, um, but he, he's got Asperger's and he likes his little food group family. So yeah. he loves pizza. But this is a way of perhaps getting him to yeah. try something a little bit different, widening these kind of variations it, yeah. of food. It's almost like that. Um, well, it's fusion food, isn't it? Yeah. But it's yeah. just that it's that half a step. Yeah. It's half a step. It's not quite. Oh, here's, here's a, a really um, I mean, totally a, a, exotic curry, yeah. but here's a curry with a little twist to it. Yeah. How about that? And, you know, if, uh, if that helps family, then absolutely brilliant. I yeah, mean, cool. to us, it, it just it tastes amazing. And not, that, look, yeah. I mean, the enthusiasm that you can see on both of your faces with regard to your passion for food and, yeah. and uh, the results that we're getting, this looks amazing. So, what other ingredients have we got going on here? So, what I'm going to be doing on this side is a luxury sort of dish as well. So we'll be able to show you the luxury butter chicken dish. Um, so everyone loves a butter chicken. Um, it's probably pretty much one of the, the British sort of favourites, isn't it? It's up there, um, isn't it? I think it's top one of the top ones that you can you go and everyone loves the butter. That's it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pop some butter into the pan. Okay. And then add the chicken into it. Oh. I can get it off there. Okay. okay. And once that's melted, add the chicken into it and um, coat that up. Um, but before, sorry, before you add the chicken, add your jar. So add the jar first into the pan. So this jar that we're using here, what's the one is it? So that would be the butter chicken. Oh, so it's the butter yep. chicken in the sauce. So that's the butter yeah. chicken first. There isn't any chicken in the sauces. They are obviously vegan yes. as well. So you can add anything else that you prefer. And as this well. chicken one is featuring within the uh, the medium option with regard to your three options. Yeah, butter, butter chicken is actually our best seller. I uh, can, I, can I admit that I've never, never tasted a butter, it, chicken. butter chicken. So tell know. me about butter chicken. What sort of um, spices and, and herbs can we find in this one? Oh, so, so butter chicken, obviously you have butter in. Yeah. I mean, but what you tend to, to find, it's, again, it's that luxury sort of 
flavour. So we're trying to show people how um, you can get again, the ultimate takeaway almost. Yeah, as well. well, we the way we're doing it. We yeah, we're trying to show people how you can you can do it in that really luxurious way. So you're going to have almonds in it. Oh, um, okay. You're going to have ground sorry ground almonds. You have um, chicken thighs. You have um, and then the, the spices themselves, oh, if I'm oh, honest, um, I don't know what they are oh. because Mum won't tell me. Well, she won't. Because oh, they're the, it's, it's Charlie's recipe to keep, isn't it? So it's I'm sure everybody at home watching um, can tell I like to talk a lot. <laughs> and I will tell somebody, so I don't know. Oh, but I'll do in a competition yeah. with you on that one, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, now, we've had some lovely emails coming from our fabulous viewers here. Um, Deborah, Deborah, thank you for emailing us. Um, Deborah's actually bought these previously and she's given us some feedback, which I think is fabulous. And she's saying that the curry sets are brilliant. Um, I got the medium set the first time round and another set last time. Um, and, uh, and I've been to, their, been to your site, got a hamper for the family as well. And the Boxing Day jar, she's actually, it's that one over there, the Boxing Day jar, is beautiful. It's spicy, but not too hot. But of course, if you want to ramp up the heat, as you know, you can put your fillers in there as well, additional. Um, and I highly recommend it, trying a set at these prices. And I think that's the key thing, as you were saying there, when you look at these as a kind of price per meal, I mean, you've got probably about 16 portions because each one of these jars is four portions. Portion. Then, of course, you've got your marinade, you've got all the additional bits and pieces. So, we were saying quite conservative, you're probably looking at around 20, 22 meals um, potentially within these. So, very affordable at £24.99. Kay from Scarborough as well, um, she is emailed in saying that she's so glad that Pun uh, Punjaban, is that how you say it? Punjab Punjaban. 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 Yeah, Punjaban. Um, I bought from them the last time they were on. Their curries are excellent. Each curry I served my husband, he said to me, um, I will have that again, it was delicious. And he's not a curry lover as well, so he's got ah. something that's been converted there. Um, so I'm going to stop up now before it sells out. It's good advice there, mm -hmm. Kay. Um, thank you so much for bringing these curries to us. So there you go, two fabulous accolades. I'm sure there are hundreds more available. Um, and uh, this is the key thing, isn't it? It's just try it, and at these prices, they are tiny prices. Exactly. It is about um, just giving it a go. You mm. know, to perhaps try something that, you know, you perhaps haven't had before. You know, I think um, I think the main thing is is that we are again we're making that homemade style. I, I know our curries are on the the milder side of of you know the spectrum. So you're not going to be you know I'm sure the mild and the medium in my opinion you would be able to give to children. Yeah. You'd be able to give to the whole family. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you know, um, you're going to have some happy, happy it. families. And it turns you into, well, yeah, it turns you into a different area of cooking. Maybe you've, you've doubled, maybe you've tried. Now, there's, yeah, when I get cooking, I love my cooking, but famously I made the world's worst curry. Right. It was a chicken curry, and it was probably about seven years ago. And you know what? The family still rib me about it. When I'm saying, oh, we're having chicken curry, they kind of go, oh, no. <laughs> um, and it was because I, I kind of didn't know. I knew what a curry was. And, you, and I thought, well, it will be a bit this and a bit of that, and we'll put it all together. And you kind of almost put it in the lap of the gods as to whether it's all going to come together right. But with this, you've got the assurance that it's going to be perfect every you time. Know, you know, yeah. We have them. Um, I've just done the, the silly thing of trying to work out how many curries mum might have made during her lifetime. Oh, really? So I've done this whole thing of, well, she probably started about six or seven helping out in the kitchen yes, back in the day. Yes. And, that, you know, as I said, we, we eat curry three times a day. Um, I did then, and I've sort of worked out, I won't say what her age is, but I'll, oh, you know, <laughs> but, you know, carrying on. And, and we worked out to about 42, 40, between 42 and 45,000 curries. Wow. Now, with she somebody, knows stuff, yeah, <laughs> so if somebody's made that many in their life, yeah. you know, you, you've got to feel assured that this person, you really know, they, they know boy. what they're doing. Um, and I think, you know, it is just that, that case of um, just having proper home cooked food, you know, yes, no artificial yeah. colours. No additives, no E numbers, no sugars. Just, you know, just try my mum's curry and you'll be blown away, I'm sure. I love that. Now, we can see that the naan bread um, has been plated up now. So this is kind of the base for the, 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 the pizza that you're creating. I'm just shredding up the chicken that's been done now. Um, you can pan fry it, you can grill it, you can barbecue it, you can do whatever you fancy um, once you've marinated it. Um, so once I've shredded it, what I'm going to do is I've got the naan bread just, just in front of me there. I'm going to grab our jar. 
Okay. And I'm going to put some of this on the base. So what is it that you're using from the jar now? So this one here is the classic in a hot. So okay. our family quite likes uh, warm, <laughs> warmer food. But could you so use any of the jars? Yeah, for this, you can. This yeah, definitely. Um, most, most definitely. So this, this acts as a little bit of a sauce for so it. This would be the equivalent of your tomato puree that's right. or your, your barbecue sauce. Yep, we've that's actually, right. Um, very locally to us, we've actually had a pub, one of these very, very trendy pubs um, that, you know, they do all this craft beer and all these things and they, they have this on the menu. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, we, that's we, a good accolade. We've told them the jars there to do it that way. They, um, yeah, people absolutely go mad for it. It goes really, really and well. And cheese going on the top now. Yep, so I've got some uh, chopped up veggies to pop onto it, some onions as well. Pop onto that so as well. So all of those things that we are familiar with using when we're making a pizza. But making a pizza with an arm bread, what a fabulous okay. idea. And then obviously plating, putting on top the tandoori chicken as well, just literally there we okay. It looks fabulous and it hasn't even gone in the oven. <laughs> okay. So, just just adding one of, again, cheese can sometimes kind of um, add, add a bit of a mildness to the, the, the sauce. That's as well. right, yeah. yeah. So any, any dairy, yeah. anything dairy. So people always say, well, do you drink water or what do you do if yeah. it's too hot? Uh, always. Anything dairy, so it's that um, classic glass of milk, isn't milk, it? Yeah, yeah milk, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. Too milk, hot, yeah. Um, any creams, yeah. uh, creme fraiche, um, any kind of um, chocolate if you want to do chocolate, chocolate. you know. So, chocolate kind of and chili, I've heard of together. So, yeah, yeah chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I actually had one of the, um, the world's hottest chili sauces um, mm -hmm. by accident at, at one of the food shows we went to, and I had a chocolate cake in it, and it sort of, yeah, it did go away quite quickly. Um, so it's Amazing. something that, yeah, will really work. Now we've had a question come through. We've got some of at home. Tracy, good to have your company. Tracy's asked a question that um, wouldn't concern me because I know how quickly we would get through one of these jars. But if you're opening the jars and not necessarily using the contents all in one go, how long can we expect to be able to leave these in the jar yeah. for? So officially, um, you're at three days. So okay. you, can, you can open the jar, keep it in the fridge for three days. Um, and I think that's pretty standard, I, isn't it, for an standard. open jar? Now, I don't know whether... I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it. Okay. We as a family, yeah. um, not that I would recommend it, we would have it in our fridge up to six or seven days. That's okay. us. That's that's how we yeah, would do it. Yeah, I'm missing it. I think um, so we've all got people think, that would do that. But yeah, yeah obviously, do your own research. We, we say there. Yeah, just I, yet. Sure, I certainly can't be saying that's what you do because on the back of the jar it says three days. Yeah. We've seen personally that's how we do it. Yeah. Um, I've what, done that because I've forgotten what day I opened the jar, it, and then yeah, I realised exactly it's right, almost yeah. a week. <laughs> well, yeah, and I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I think um, as well, taking into account, that's what curry was kind of made for back in yeah, the day, that's made true. for preserving and, yeah. and those types of things. Um, but then it also comes down to what we've done today. So you can make meals and freeze them. Um, you, so you could use all, all four portions and freeze it. You could also, if you've got a little bit left, why not try the pizza idea? That's a why good not idea, have it as a, yeah. a dip? Um, one of my other favourite ideas is to put it on um, tortilla chips. Ooh. The tortilla chips. So you can okay. make nachos. Yeah. Put it instead of the tomato. Yeah. Um, yeah. To in toasties. You know, <gasps> all of these things. Yeah. So you there there are hundreds of options. Anything it. that you would sort of see. Yeah. Now we've only got about seven minutes or less, but what have we got going in the pan now? What's going on here? So this here is the butter chicken. So when we left it, we popped some, um, we popped the jar in, popped the um, peppers in if you want to, you don't have to. Um, and then thereafter, I popped in some um, of the ground almonds just to make it a little bit more luxur luxurious. And then after that, just um, some single cream or double cream, whatever you fancy, um, just to give it that bit more luxury sort of feel to it. Um, and that's that it really, amazing. that's that's how you'd make your luxurious I butter chicken it. at home. Now of course with regards to the gift packs we've been using those, I would say we, I've just been standing here watching, uh, but of course we have been working with those throughout the hour, but we have got additional things to share with you. But just to recap, we've got three different options for you with regards to the festive gift packs. 
And these are perfect for you to use on your, with your leftovers. You can see that you've got your Boxing Day um, curry sauce in these ones. And you've got them in three different variations, your mild, your medium, and your hot. But there's a certain amount of leeway with regards to those, because as you heard, you can kind of soften down this, the flavors with a little bit of a, a dairy-based product, whether it's a, a cream that you add in, a creme fraiche, something along those lines. Or, of course, if you want to go to the other scale and you're wanting to make it a little hotter, then why not pop some fresh chilies in there as well? So a really, really adaptable. Um, adaptable to whatever your palate is really your mild, your medium and your hot now they do vary in content a little so on the website you'll be able to see the different options but fundamentally you're going to get your four naan breads in each one of those you can get your chutneys, you're going to get your marinades and then of course your four large jars each one of those four servings so you can see here you're getting a lot for your money £24.99 pence. you are getting a lot but we've got more to share with you because what if you want to kind of concentrate on a particular style Danzac this is one where you've got the lentils base within this one so those are included within here you've also got um, more of those fabulous jars so this might be you go that you're going for the festive pack as a gift but you just can't resist some of those sauces yourself well 14.99 a very affordable way for you to get hold of these um 863063 and then your biryani now this is another one of your options and it's proven to be a popular one as well within this one you are going to get 500 grams of the premium grade rice and of course with biryani that is one of the key features with this one so if you're wanting this one three four one one three two but of course when you put in those fabulous ingredients together adding in either your plant-based or your meat-based additions you could be creating beautiful beautiful meals like this i mean this looks amazing this is the butter chicken that we're looking at now i believe that's right yeah that looks Gorgeous. stunning i reckon um yeah, I might be taking that for my dinner. I, <laughs> I think you might have a fight on yeah, your hands I here. Yeah, so. I so I hesitated. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and of course, this is the key thing. I mean, just to reiterate again, if you are concerned with regards to the ingredients, and if you have got certain diets that you're catering for, don't forget every single one of the elements, the jars we've been talking about, they are all exactly the same. They are gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and vegan. Obviously, you can add to those if you want to. So of course, if you want to add your meat products, and the add your, free, um, your fish products, add your um, almonds, as we've heard mentioned, then you can do. But when they come to you, you can get started with these. So as a bit of a recap, I mean, we seem to have we've cooked for 5,000. There's a feast that we've got here. So take us through what we're, what we're looking at on the, the counter. We're going to have a little look at all these fabulous dishes. Where should we start? Should we start with that amazing shepherd's pie? Yeah, of course. So, so what I did with this this shepherd's pie was if you've got any leftovers or anything like that um, it's a great way to use um, anything that you've got spare in the fridge so with this one I use the keema curry jar um, once I pop that straight into the pan, added the minced meat, added a handful of vegetables, and just literally add the mashed potatoes on Love top. It, which could be left you could, over. Yep, yeah, that's yeah, literally it. And you could just, you can even freeze this as well. It's fine Perfect. to freeze. You could batch cook stuff as well. Amazing. Uh, and pop it into the freezer as well. It mm. keeps really, really Love. well. Then of course, just in front of that, we've got the butter chicken, which we just saw that's you finishing right. off so, a few moments ago. So that's just the luxury butter chicken that we've made today. So it's a bit more of, um, you know, you could add cream, you could add uh, ground almonds to it um, just to make it that sort of ultimate sort of dish um, that, that you'd want to eat on a Friday it. night perhaps what or something. What we got next? What's um, in the next and then bowl? This is the Boxing Day curry. Um, so again, leftover turkeys. You've got a Boxing Day curry base, which is really, really sweet in flavours. You've got your fresh cranberries that come through on that as well. Go really, really well and complement the turkey quite well on that one. Beautiful. And then Bombay potato base as well. Uh, sorry, Bombay potatoes. So you've got your roasted potatoes that we had. Um, and literally all I've done is just added a bit of the marinade just to give it that little yellowy sort of colour that comes onto it with the fresh turmeric um, and then added the Bombay potato which has nice mustard seeds in there as well Fabulous. which give it a little bit nicer flavour. And um, finally with the toasted almonds. That is the vegetable korma um, and again it's, it's something that we've made out of the mild so again bit of um, bit of uh, coconut cream and um, 
added some roasted vegetables into that and one as well. And then, of course, there's a fabulous pizza, which That's is right. still in yeah. the oven. But, um, yeah, that was, it may not, probably not turn quite ready yet, but don't worry. Yeah. You can create semi fabulous. Is it ready? Oh, yeah. let's have a look yeah. at this before we say goodbye. Mm. We're down to the last few moments, but <laughs> feast your eyes on this. Oh, my goodness, that looks incredible. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my that. goodness, that looks amazing. Now, of course, these are all different recipes. If you go back and watch on Rewind, you'll be able to see all these different ways that these fabulous sauces have been used uh, but don't forget you've got the fact that these are sugar free as well so if you are watching what you're eating do bear that in mind there's no added sugar to any of these with regards to um, kind of your nutritional value so of course very healthy way to cook as well and I have to say guys thank you so much learned so much during this yeah. hour thank you Aidy that's awesome um, and when no are you way. back do we, do we have a date for you to come back yet um, yeah we're um, well we don't have a date no but we'd, well, we'll have we'd to love change to that. yeah we'd love to come back I mean um, um, it's been it's been brilliant yeah oh no it's been Fantastic. really good thank you thank you, thank so, you so much. much and yeah you guys have loved it as well we've been very very busy don't forget your festive gift packs three options with regards to those um take advantage with that price on your screen they're 24.99 but do check out those ultimate packs as well you've got your biryani and you've got your danzac and of course those are only 14.99 so they're a nice treat for yourself whichever these you're going for though i can say rest assured you are buying quality and it's some amazing um, flavours. You are going to love what you're creating with these. So please, anything in your baskets, now is the time for you to check the baskets out. Ooh, now I'm off to feast my face. Um, and then a K Facet One Day special coming up, followed by the Wee Woolies. Um, you've got some fabulous hours through the night as well. I'll see you tomorrow. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration.
Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now, and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. I think I've got away with it. Little, little disguise there. Hi all, hi all. How are we doing? Hope you can. <laughs> they're loving it because they can hardly see me and they can hardly hear me. So, but the lovely thing is I can see because my glasses aren't steaming up. The smarf, everybody, from Natasha. That's working a treat. I'm loving this. This is the best I've looked. Everyone has said, you've never looked so good, Scott. If you could just put a little hat on, as well, we wouldn't see any of you. <laughs> Lovely. Natasha, creator of The Smart, is here in the studio with us for the one-day special. Ooh, everybody. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. I do love that the fact we put this up on Facebook in between the shows, and yes. the very first person to comment yep. was Brandon Mabley himself, the designer. The designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, looks good. It Great looks use of good. his fabric. Thumbs up. I'm so impressed. I'm so, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. There. I did say to the designer as well, if you're looking for a bald little model, you know. Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Glasses or non-glasses, you get two looks for the same fee. Uh, these are great. It doesn't steam. That's what, I keep, that's what people keep steam. telling me. But I don't wear glasses, so I can't verify. But you've got this, this metal that's actually yeah. in the nose part of the band. Yeah. So it's it, it's actually blocked off. There in there is metal, so that actually there is no gap between where the breath comes out onto the glasses, which is where you need your window wipers. But you've got more space here for your breath to go into, so it goes yes. down rather goes than down. up. Goes down. Goes down. It's it's great. It's great. You look well, amazing in it. it looks, that, well, thank yeah. you. It's your design and it's the material, so it's great. So uh, I, I will take it down for a second, just so. Uh, it's very comfy. I'll just leave it like that for now, for a second. Uh, it, it's brilliant to be with you uh, for the second hour of the one-day special uh, that uh, we brought from Natasha, that's brought along with us, and we've got huge amounts of colours to bring to you. If you're watching in black and white, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, <laughs> but I promise you, if you're watching in colour, what a treat. So we'll go through these. Now, there's lots. We will show you through these designs because there's a lot, but also we want to talk about the whole idea of the big name that's attached to these, which yeah. is designer, which is, I'm wearing designer smarf, you know, because... You are. That, that is, it's the best thing I'm wearing. <laughs> I, I promise you that. <laughs> and I've got new socks on. And so, and this is the best. <laughs> so, when we talk about this, what you are doing, whatever your projects are going to be, whatever it is you use this material for, and, and certainly Natasha's going to be filling a lot more of that, uh, it, it, the, the gaps in for us as well we go through, because... When we talk about this name here, Kate Fassett, when we talk about this name, it is an icon. When we start talking about colorists and people that work with your fabrics to be able to do this, uh, for someone who is iconic, really, and a living, a living fantastic legend in many, many know, ways as well. I know, I know. How often do we wait until someone's died before we appreciate them? Yes. But 
Keith is in, well, he's in his 80s and he has been designing for decades. Yeah. I mean, loads of you will know him for his knitwear. That was initially the thing. I mean, he trained as an actor. So first off, he trained as an actor with Dustin Hoffman and went, ah, you know that little guy he won't <laughs> manage to do much um how wrong could he be and then he trained as a fine artist and and had you know really really loved that spent many many years that was when he came over to the uk um at the end of the 60s uh to be an artist here um and just amazing things happened to cave his life story is phenomenal but what really strikes me with cave is that whatever he turns his hand to because he does it with such passion mm. and with such flair and it comes from the heart, always. Um, he just, it's, he has the Midas touch to whatever he turns his hand to. And quilting fabric is no different. And what I love about him and Brandon and Philip is that they are all top quality, yeah. incredible people. They're so generous with their time, with their knowledge, with their learning. But each has a different strength. They are. So that's one of Cape's designs. It's beautiful, these. It, yeah. So as a fine artist in his own right, he's amazing. But it's his use of colour is what yeah. he is now renowned for. Um, and again, that was one of his very, very first designs. That's the Millie Fury. That is gorgeous. Based around a... Um, well, it's based around a uh, paperweight design. That, that you honestly, it, it, you feel that when you are looking at these, I mean, there, this is luxury, absolute luxury of colours that work. I know there's lots of variables in here where you'll see similar kind of styles again, but different colours that work with it. So like the melons, for example, you're going to just sort of find, you know, these, they are phenomenal with the brightness you're going to get. So I th these, yeah, these yeah, on, are Sasha, from yeah. Philip Jacobs. Now, Philip Jacobs has designed for Sanderson, for Liberty. Some of his fabrics have been chosen to be in the White House, not under the current one, uh, but you know they've they've been so you know he said I was sitting there watching the news and there was the White House and there was some of my fabrics <laughs> like <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird, weird but kind of cool yeah um, so you know this is this is what we're looking at in terms of pedigree here this is absolutely absolutely top notch um, and we're so lucky that all three of them are still so active in designing and uh cave has just had what they call cave's christmas all oh, right so you would think wouldn't you that cave and brandon and philip would be working really closely together but actually philip because his diary is so full and cave's diary is so full normally he would be traveling all around the world with brandon um they meet once a year for just a few hours and Philip will bring his, uh, what he thinks Kaif is going to like, and he'll lay it all out, and wow. Kaif will pick which ones will sit nicely with next year's design. So they're already, you know, they've already done next year. Wow. Um, and then Kaif will get to work with the colouring. Now, anybody that is any kind of artist will know that handing over your design, your baby, <laughs> to somebody else to do the colour work on, yeah. you don't hand that over to just anyone. And Philip freely admits that he considers Kay Fassett to be the best colorist in the world right now. Not just in the UK, in the Globally. world. I mean, that is phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. And, and they, they are beautiful. And we, we will touch on a lot more with Kay Fassett because they, they really are stunning. Uh, with regards to all these, well, look, what you basically hear, the whole collection here, you're going to be getting 24, basically, of all of your fantastic uh, Fats Quarter Beggar Bundle. Now, there comes in two options that you could go with on these, OK? So we've been looking at the start with the first half, if you wanted to go with this one. Now, this is all of your beautiful... If you want to go for the pack of 12, details of that are at the very bottom of your screen that you can see. That's a cold they have actually just been through as well. Now, you're going to get the cold, plus you're going to get all of these over here, which are the warm, and that is the whole of the mega that you can see. And they are absolutely beautiful. You can see that lovely contrast from the cool, the blues. I, mean, I say cool, they're still really gorgeous. They're bright, they're vivid, they're rich. Uh, it's, but it's just a terminology that we use yeah. to describe colours. They're either cooler colours or they're warmer colours. 
And, they are um, stunning. And it was really hard to divide them up. So it was the only way to go because often people tend oh. to veer towards blues and then some people veer towards the warmer colours. Um, but it was, and it's not a 50 50 split by any means because, you know, look at that. That's quite a cool shade. But it just had to go in there because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the amaryllis <laughs> in green is stunning. They are, honestly, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, you can always shop ahead. If you want to get onto the website and you'll see all of these, they're all lame, they're all named, they're all there for you as well that you can go through because there is so many fabrics and you feel like you want to give every one of them some justice to give them a little moment in the spotlight so they can be seen because there's a huge amount on this bar here. You are getting, like I say, 24 pieces of, of those of fat quarter. There's a huge amount in here. The other thing to bear yeah. in mind is that these are all hand painted with gouache. All hand painted. All for hand painted with gouache. That's how the designs are done, using a maximum of, I think it's 16 colours in each wow. one. Wow, wow. I mean, and what? And so then, when you actually see Kaif's original designs, and then you see the fabrics, I've sat with them on my lap, one next to the other, you? <laughs> and you just, and it just, it blew me away. So you can, you can see the painty feel. That's one of Kate's. Yes. You can see the yeah, painty feel in the Enchanted. I've, uh, I've got the last one here to show that you can see. Um, if, you, if you really, really, really love your colour, if you can, go for the one day special. Go for the mega bundle. Everything here on the website, there's a brilliant offer for you here. Uh, as you can see here, we're looking at this from down from 102 down to 77 pounds for this one. All 24 pieces for you. Uh, you can add those into your basket, please do. You go for the flexi buy if you want, make it two instalments, of course. That's just two payments of 30 eight pounds and 50 pence for all of those uh, which is absolutely phenomenal uh, don't forget the fabrics are on the shows that you look at not that we can see from Natasha designs but for the fabrics we're looking at a two weeks for your extended delivery that's now taken to the 17th of December that you can look at as well now all the fabrics are on the show as well it is really important to stress once they're gone they're gone. If they sell out during the show, they're gone. That's it. There's no more coming back on Extended. Uh, so it really is what you see is what you get. Now, that's really important when you come to your pick and mixes, by the way. Uh, so if you see your pick and mix, if there's one in there you've got your heart on, get it into your basket and get it checked out as quick as you possibly can. Because if someone else comes along and takes it, you don't want that. I want to give you the options here, basically. This is on your half metre fabric pick and mix as well that you can see. Now, you can pick and mix um, any four that you want. And that's what's going to give you your two metres in total for just 27.99. Now you're looking at the moment of the autumn 2020 collection and there's a huge array in here. I just want to point out as well the one that I had that's been uh, been made by Natasha from myself that I was wearing as well. That's in here. That's in the autumn collection of 2020 that you can see and it is gorgeous. And even in those you've got a lovely mixture of colours in there. Greens, golds, you've got your oranges to see, the purples that go through this. It's a lovely collection of, of all those. Even some of your greys and your silvers working together. So you've got a lovely collection in here. You've got your florals and if you open this up now it looks like you're po sort of polka dot, but actually in there you've got some really lovely, vibrant designs uh, that come together that's beautiful uh, to work as well. I mean, they are stunning right across. Um, again, I'm probably not going to get a chance to see them all. I'm just going to try and take a selection uh, that you can have a little look as well. And uh, But that's, what's this one called, Natasha? I'm, 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 stream. Stream. I mean, that's that is stream flowing. Gen? No, that's stream in blue. Stream in blue, so I have yeah. to look out for the other options if it's in there as well. Um, and I don't want to put you on the spot with names because there's a huge amount, but you are uh, an absolute sort of uh, an oracle when it comes <laughs> down to all the information basically <laughs> on all of these. That is I'm your loving this. In blue. So this is another Brandon Mably one. What I love about Brandon is he absolutely designs from the heart. So he, out of the three, he's the only one that didn't have like formal art college oh, and right. this, that, and the other. He met Kay for the bus stop. <laughs> and they started okay. chatting and he was, yep. uh, I think he was working in, in the fish counter at a supermarket at the time. <laughs> and he'd been, just come home from working as a personal chef. Um, so he already understand about mixing colour yep. and making things looking appetising on a plate. But f food was his, where his art was. Um, he'd gone the food route. Um, and he, they got chatting and, and so he went, he went along and saw where, what he gave studio. And, um, and the rest, as they say, is history. He just picked it up straight away. Right. And what Cave said is that as he was, as Brandon just kept asking questions and kept asking questions and saying, but have you thought about doing it this way? 
And Kathy would be like, no, oh, I, I see. haven't, but actually now you say it, and not many people are kind of brave enough to do no, that. No, no, that's that, fair enough. That's you know, fair to enough. say to someone, yeah, but what about doing it like this? And so then Brandon started working with him, and he took over the running of the studio. And that was when Brandon, that was when um, Kaif got really organized because Brandon just organized him. And that was when they really started traveling the world and, and just doing so many more things. And um, that is that is incredible. That, yeah. Honestly, it's I've just been, I want to say there's lots of different varieties in here. We've got lots of, like, say, similar sort of patterns and style, but the colors that work with it as well. I, mean, I I've could got see another you in one. that blue smarf there. Yeah, or the Pacific. Yeah, absolutely. Could you imagine that as a smarf? How that, oh, smart. yes. Yeah, yeah right. I'm liking absolutely. that. It would even go with your shoes. That would be it, such a good look. I'm loving that. Go with my shoes. Let me see. We'll go with the shoes as well. My shoes aren't available, unfortunately, but, you know, uh, but, they, uh, but they are, they are stunning. This is the, oh, oh let me just show this. I'm this just trying is... to think if that was the one that I made for, um, it might have, was that the colourway that I made? Wow! Look at that. For Yanis, I can't remember. Oh, was it? For Yanis? Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, that is... Because that's exactly his colour. They are his colours. That that's, is brilliant. You know... I love this. This is your option if you'd like to go for your autumn 2020. Now, you're going to be, honestly, you might want to sit down when you do this because you're going to be spoilt for choice for these ones, for the cave facet as well. 27.99, that's going to give you two metres here. Split, of course, your pick and mix of any four that you want to. And they are stunning, absolutely beautiful. Lots in there that you'll be able to work together and see which ones you want to play off of each other to bring them out, what colours you're going to choose, what's going to help the other ones. They are simply stunning. Now, that is the autumn. Uh, 2020 that we've got for you. We've also got another pick and mix for you to go from as well. This one, we just dropped the autumn, and it's a 2020 collection that you can see from this side. And again, you're going to see a huge array of vibrant colours, wonderful images that work together. And there are so many in here that work. Honestly, please be looking ahead because I cannot get through all of these in the time that we have to sort of show as well. But if you want to go for one in the website, if there's anything you're really particular interested in looking at let me know uh, drop us a message and then we can do our very very best to bring that one out and actually show you the sort of the the size that we've got here in the studio for you for example but there are so many to choose from and collect it's very hard obviously sometimes to be able to bring them all but they are vivid. I'm loving the green. The greens are absolutely beautiful of these, actually. I know we saw this one earlier on uh, in the Fat Quarters, but that is absolutely stunning. The purples, the pinks, the blues that come through. I mean, the vibrancy. I'm not sure, obviously, what your projects are that you're planning on working with, but whatever it is, honestly, you're going to give it the wow factor. You've got designer materials here with regards to design, to, uh, to des uh, actual colour that's going through and they are going to really really pop for whatever your project is uh, that you are going to be using i love in this with the um black background the one the black background is really i mean they all stand out and such but that looks fantastic doesn't it there isn't it? But look, you've got pink, you've got red, you've got blues, you've got purples in there. You've got every colour to pull out. You know, if you're looking at an outfit going, oh, what can I wear with this? This, this, yeah. wear this. <laughs> Even if you've just got a plain black top on and a pair of jeans, this will lift it. Uh, it would just be phenomenal. They are simply stunning. We will show more as we go through, of course, for you. But if you'd like to go for uh, the 2020 collection on this one, of course, the website... 27.99 we're looking at here as well so many to go for where they are absolutely beautiful they are gorgeous 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 uh, for everyone to choose from as well for your pick and mix they are brilliant i know there's a lot of choice on this show uh, but do take advantage one with the savings that are there but when you get this kind of designer name that's being brought to you with those patterns that is absolutely phenomenal we have had sellouts on this pick and mix actually uh, the, can we show, which one was that, sorry? The Millie, Millie Folly? Millie Fury. Millie Fury. Fury. Yeah. There we go. Well, I think she's trying to find it, bless her, as well. Uh, and uh, just let so you know that it has gone. Uh, in which where... colourway? In the ochre or the dusky in, in, or the dusty? The dusty. The dusty. 
Okay. The dusty one has had a sellout already on that. Um, so, and that's the thing. As the one day special does go on, obviously more and more of them are going to disappear. So it's always one of those uh, for you to get yourself um, into the ones you want as soon as you possibly can. Uh, now, also, uh, Natasha, I know that I've got mine on my own, but the smarts are there. I know you were showing them earlier on with Haley yeah. how to make, yeah. but you've got some that are already made. We've had a chance to show you, and, and honestly, I can't speak highly enough about these. Do you want to show the ones that you've got that are all uh, ready to go for people? I would love to. So, um, when I first developed this, I was inundated with the people asking, do you sell them ready-made? I don't sew, or I don't have time to sew, or I, don't, I only hand sew, I only embroider, whatever. So, I thought, okay, fine. And I thought about um, mass producing, you know, going to China, and, and it didn't feel right. Right. Because I couldn't guarantee the quality of the cotton and I couldn't guarantee yeah. the workmanship. And, um, and I'm a UK based company and I feel really strongly about that. Yeah. And I, couldn't, I couldn't use K Facet and all of the designers that I love. I've had them made in Tim Holtz, you know, all oh, sorts of wow. Philip wow. Jacobs and K Facet. I've had them made in all sorts of different designers' fabrics. So the only way that I could do that was to buy the fabric here in the UK. Right and then have them made here great, in the UK. Great, great. So that's what I've done and none of these fabrics that we have on the show today we actually have available we don't you know as the ready maids yep. we don't have them available as as half meters. Right, okay. So, you so know, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, if you love these then this is the way to grab them um, because some of them are past designs uh, that, that just stand the test of time. So we've got um, over here this this was the first one out of the box when they that's arrived. Lovely, that. And this is by Philip Jacobs, and it is uh, called Ming Embroidery. So, Ooh. yeah, he's... They are fab. It, and just the colours are exquisite. And that was the first, I was like, right, that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> why not? It's a pr prerogative. Yeah, right, and I don't know yeah. why my daughter, her favourite, mine! Mine! <laughs> mine! That's mine. Thank you. Uh, now, I had to get them made up in, um, in the stripe because yeah. this is promenade stripe and this was the very first colourway that I made one um, out of. There were lots of near misses that got thrown on the floor because I cut it the wrong way. Uh, but this, this is the one. Now, with these, they've been cut in such a way that there is, there is absolutely no seam. You know, when we had to make one earlier, we had to cut a seam along there. There aren't in these, they're cut in a different way. So it's just, it's seamless, so to speak. Well, um, keep going through the collection. Go show, show us a couple yeah, more that yeah, we've got so there as well. Over here, this one is your Farnham. Again, this is a Philip Jacobs one. Oh, I love this colorway. Isn't it beautiful? Just gorgeous in there. That's a lovely colour. Yeah, and it's very, very flattering on any skin tone, that one. Mm. Really gorgeous. Um, and then, if I just show you some of these... So these all have the metal in on the, on the, for the nose? They all have the metal in. They all have the ear strips in. Yeah. You can wash them. Uh, they come with care instructions as well. But if I just show you that... That's pretty. Isn't That's that really beautiful? That's really nice. Yeah, Really lovely. beautiful. And just, I mean... For the workmanship, let's just take a look right down to the... I can't get them as fine as that at the tip. That's brilliant. They are, they've been so beautifully manufactured. I was so thrilled. And I sat on the floor and I hand-rolled every single one just to make sure that they were all, wow. all gorgeous. Wow. It took me about four days. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It got through a box set while you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did actually, good, I did. Good. Uh, so this, again, I won't unroll them all, you get the idea. This, again... Um, That's nice, very we, pretty. Yeah, we bought another colourway of this and it sold out. So every time I bought these to wear, they've sold out. Wow. And I don't have any more going into production. That is it. When they're gone, they're gone. Right. This is uh, Rose and Hydrangea in citrus. Oh, yeah, look at that colour there. I know, I know, I know. Now, the interesting thing that I discovered when I was playing with this fabric yesterday is that actually, if you put it with purple, it really tones it down. But if you put it with a black or you put it with an orange, wah, it's incredible. Uh, so it's one of those ones that's incredibly versatile, really gorgeous. And then I think this is lovely for him or her. That's very funky. Yeah, it's your tiddlywinks. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I love that. It's just, it's just a great for it's, years. it's got a colour for every occasion in there. Yeah. Whatever you're wearing, it's going to go. Now, if you're more of just, you know, a warm tone kind of a gal, 
Then nice. that's a Philip Jacobs one. That's nice. Yeah, but again, I've only got a handful of these, and when they're gone, they're gone. Right. That's it. Um, and again, another Philip Jacobs one here. And again, you know, if you if you wear navy to work or something like that, it's not too out there. It's, no. You know, it's pretty. Nice but dark it, background with that one as yeah, well. Yeah, no, lovely. That come through, yeah. Maybe green is your colourway. Then this is your, I want to say pelargonium, but I'm only learning my flowers through... Okay, Facet Collective. You've done very ben well. Philip Jacobs, thanks, don't expect me to say it again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then maybe you just, you know, you want something that's going to go with everything. Mm. Then you've got your two-tone blue. Love But again, them. it's got, yeah, denim it's going to look great with. Um, what about your Luscious in Dark? Ooh. It's just rich. It is exactly that, isn't it? It's Luscious. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I've got two of the poppy gardens in either green or in blue. Absolutely beautiful. So if you would like to go for the official, the ready-made smarts there, 727849, £24.99. Pence. I will stress, you do need to get in quick uh, for those ones. With the stock, once they're gone, as you've heard, they are gone. I have got a question for you, though, okay. Natasha, that's been uh, sent through. This is regarding the ready-made. This is if when uh, you get the kits to make your own. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, This yeah. has been sent through. This is from uh, Trudy okay. and Hi, Chloe Trudy. as well. Hi, Very good Trudy. evening, Trudy and Chloe. Says, hello, Natasha, hello. Scott and the gallery team everybody oh, everybody very inclusive i'm loving this um i watched the earlier show and okay. placed my order for some fabulous cap facet uh, fabric for the collective collection i'm planning a smart present to, oh should, in case someone's listening should ask them to leave the room i'm planning a smart present yeah, to all family fine, yeah. and friends this year oh. and this leads me to a question for natasha my sister and close friend are both petite in brackets four foot eight and i would like to know if Natasha would reduce the measurements of the fabric to take into account the length of the tails on the smarf, and if so, by how much? Both my sister and friend are very conscious of long length clothing. Have a fabulous evening. Crafty hugs, Trudy and Chloe. Um, what would okay. your suggestion be on that? My mother-in-law is four foot eleven. And I made no adjustments. For no, her. Oh, okay. And she looked amazing in it. The thing is, is that you can just wrap it around. Yeah. Like you've got yours wrapped around. If you want to, of course, absolutely, of course. Uh, I mean, we've got this here. If you, if you wanted to um, bring it in, all I would say is uh, when you. Shall I show? Would yeah, that cool. make more sense? Let me find a half meter, and I'll just. I will simply show you. Nice and easy. Yes. If you've got any other questions, by the way, just while we're unfolding this one, please let us know, studio at hachanda.com if you want to get in touch as well, which is great. Um, Margie has also asked as well, by the way, if she gets the pick and mix of four and chooses the same option, oh, no. does it come as the full two metre no. or is it still cut in the half metres? No, it doesn't. So this is... Um... So the supplier that brings these shows to air, we, yeah. we front them, but the supplier who supplies them, when they get the orders come through, and I think sometimes it just helps to know, like, the process oh, right. that happens, Yeah, no, absolutely. Right. Um, what happens is they will then, Hochanda will send them an order with, we want 20 half metres of this, and they get cut. So oh, that, I see. Then I see. It gets shipped to this country, and Ho Chanda then pack it. Right. And they will go. All oh, right. They've ordered two half meters, and they'll pick two half two meters, half meters for it. out of that. So oh, that's that's how for this particular supplier that works. Yeah. So yeah, if you want it in in length, I can't guarantee that. You might get lucky with it, but. I would, I would assume see. not, no. because I don't, you know, for quilting that doesn't matter, you're going to cut it up anyway, yeah. Yeah, but I for dressmaking that is a problem, so, yeah. Right, thank you, really good question, and I've got a great answer for that as well, so thank you very much, Steve. If you've got any more, keep them coming through, keep them coming through. Uh, right, so, Natasha, you just talked about this, if we were taking the, the, the measurements down slightly. So, um, the way that we would normally do it is uh, you've... Well, as we did on the earlier show, you fold it with that edge folded, you fold it in half, you fold it back, and then you make your cut from there to there. Now, if you don't want it to be that long... Yeah. <laughs> take it there, that's where they cut it. Then fold it back, and then from that halfway mark to there. Right. That's the cut that you want to make. Right. 
Brilliant. But you say with your your mum was four eleven and she didn't. My and it mother in law is four eleven. Glam Pam is four eleven. <laughs> I call her Glam Pam because she always looks amazing. Oh, I love and that. And she's generally tottering on a pair of Jimmy Choo's. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Full respect. Like it. I had kids and haven't been out of flat since. But uh, yeah, <laughs> she, she's yeah. No, she always looks amazing. So yeah, for her it wasn't a problem, and you can always wrap it around again. But if you do want to shorten it, you can. You can do that. I will give that a go and try it, but that should do it. That That's should brilliant. Do it. Thank or you. Or just um, cut it as you would normally and then just graduate it once it's all Got laid you. out. Great. Lovely. Great question. Thank you for getting in touch with us. Thank you very much indeed. Really hope that helps as well. Good luck with making all those things. Those lovely presents. Very lucky people. Right. Do we have uh, uh, another demonstration or something we can have a little well, look at? Or what do you, you know what? Yeah. If we're sticking with things that we can wear, yeah. then... Um, Right on the end of that one there is an infinity scarf. This is this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, exactly yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Okay. We've got that one there. This is one of the, the patterns that we've got for us actually. We've here got yeah, well. we've got one of those. So, Ooh. Brandon was Brandon Mabley was really keen for for this to be to be done because the colours are gorgeous. These are great. Yeah. I'm loving these. Pick any two, by the way. There's loads on the website for these. So this is the uh, the infinity that yeah. we've got. Yeah, I'm loving this. Okay. Uh, and this this is my friend Gemma's design that she did for us that Natasha makes. You just need three fat quarters. Oh right. Okay. Okay. That's it. Now nice. the hardest part of this is choosing <laughs> <laughs> fabrics. Which ones? And I've just realised that actually I've got one of the melons here, and that it would look really amazing. I'm thinking maybe over, over like this. Oh. Now Brandon said, Brandon says that it's really nice to pick three very contrasting ones okay. because then it's obvious that you've got a break, three separate. Yeah. yeah. So you know he might put like that, that, and that together. Right. So you've got three very obviously different ones. Um, you know maybe you might want to go. You see, I might think like that, that, and then something else. Maybe you want to carry on that pink or bring through. Oh, actually, that's, that's quite nice. nice <laughs> Hello. Hello. Right, so uh, there we go. That's that decision. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> but then audition your fabrics. Ooh. Take a step back, take a photograph, do whatever it is that you need to do because, you know, it's, it's going to look different. Do you, you know, do you want those? Do you want a red tone in there? You know, that would be, you'd have the great different colours, but you'd be keeping a theme. So that wouldn't be quite as contrasting, but it would still be, be gorgeous, yeah. right? I see what you mean, yes, yeah. All really striking in their own way, aren't they? They are, but you've got that yeah. commonality in colour. But... But, but, I think we're going to go with the other ones. So, let's have a look. And I've got to fr I frantically rack my brains as to how to do this. I thought today what I would do with these is we've got so many patterns now yeah. on the website. Is basically let you choose which ones we demo. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because some of these we haven't seen demoed for such a long time. We've it's got, a bit of a shame, really. We've got, we're flicking through them at the moment so we can sort of see them on the screen uh, to go through of all these ones, which is, uh, there's loads and loads and loads of different patterns in there that you want to work really with. There to go with <laughs> huge amount. Uh, Below me, envelope, we've got the child's bib in there as well. Oh, I love the snowflake, which is gorgeous. Your pocketed zip pouch as well. Um, folded pouch, so many pouches, love it. Uh, the Dahlia, uh, there's well. that is blooming egg. How do you go, go back on that one? How do you do, that's done with fabric? Yeah. That looks, I mean, is that, if I'm a beginner, do I not go near that or do I just be brave and have a go? If you are a beginner, you whip out your glue gun and you give it a jolly good go because it's one of the easiest things you can make. Is it really? Yeah. It looks so impressive, so impressive. Should we do it tomorrow? Are you in tomorrow? Yeah, I'm you're not in tomorrow. here tomorrow. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like the only day in December you're not here. I, I know. It's typical, isn't it? I'm back in on Saturday. Well, that's no good, is it? Oh, do one for me. I just I can see it then. Okay. Or do it on watch. How about that? Okay. <laughs> All right. So what I'm doing, I'm working with fat quarters. I'm just going to trim them up. 
and which one did we go for in the end? These ones. Which which is that? Which is that? That's from the. Um, is that from the twenty twenty collection? That one there. Uh, was that the autumn twenty? Uh, no, I think that's the twenty twenty, wasn't it? Yeah. I've got them. I'm using them. They could have come from anything. <laughs> you, you've got I believe, options here. I think here. they are. I think yeah. they are. I have fabrics and I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, if you've got a right or a wrong side, let me just check because these are, um, yeah, look, we've just got a little bit extra. That is there. fabulous. That, that is fabulous. I'm loving the it's watermelons. It's going to look amazing. I love them. I love them. I never um, thought that, you know, I'd think of watermelon as a, a, in a designer way. I know, I know. And um, <laughs> I had a very amusing show with Yanis where he just got cut off at the wrong point. So the producer started talking in his ear and he just ended up saying, yeah, nice melons. <laughs> that, was, that was it. And I don't think he tweaked us to what it said. And I was like, OK. It's that kind of, <laughs> right, OK. Hey, yeah, all righty. He's then. not been seen since. No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was very embarrassed because oh, we did uh, ribbed mercilessly for that for quite some time. So um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is right sides together. Uh, I'm going to do a really wide seam here so that I'm going to I'm going to trim back that um, selvage. All right. Okay. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know? I've just. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I've heard a little bit about this before. So the, the salvage the, the for those that don't know, you can see the little holes on here. These are woven cotton fabrics. Yes. So you've got the warp goes warp and the weft goes left. I didn't. I've never heard that bit before. Oh well, you know. So the, and <laughs> this this is your salvage, and that's where it's held on, onto the loom. Okay. So this is a slightly different density, so you don't uh, you don't want to be using that right at the edge. So I'm going to put my seam just to there. It's fine in the seam. I just don't, it will feel slightly different, okay. so I don't want that actually in the main Oh, I see, I bit. see, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not being terribly clear, but you know what I mean. So we will... So we're going to do some little trimming back when we get, when we get done. By the way, that is the quietest machine I think we've had in the studio. I know, we were saying that earlier, weren't we, when uh, yeah. I was finishing off your smart. It is... Because it was uh, going at some pace. Well, we, you were still doing some machining while they had the uh, the previous show on, the cooking show that was on uh, beforehand with those lovely curries. And even though it's on the other side of the studio, still couldn't hear the machine. No, um, even, no, though, even during the live broadcast. Very fab machine. So I will just trim uh, that seam back. No, it's and I was saying earlier, you know, this is my machine, and I um I I get up at stupid o'clock to work, and I, I never worry about waking up the family. Because it is so lovely and quiet, there aren't many machines that I would get to work at at four o'clock in the morning, you know. Just, but it, it always does. It's, uh, it's always good not to wake the fan up if you don't need to, I agree, I agree. Oh, uh, especially Captain Small, you don't want to wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. If you're looking for a quiet uh, sewing machine though, check out the website, it is there. Yeah. If you don't want to wake up Captain Small, I'm intrigued, I don't know if I should ask. Where that came from, Captain Small. She's the boss. <laughs> she's very small. She's two, and she's small but yeah. mighty. Yeah, she's the boss. Yeah, Captain Small. She's the boss. Um, she, she was no. Whilst I was pregnant, we asked Freddie what he would like his sister to be called, and he just watched Paddington Bear, and it took us a while to twig this. Oh. Um, but he said that he would like to call her Knuckles McCarty. No. Oh no. I. <laughs> I... In Paddington Bear, there's Knuckles McGinty. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant. And, uh, yeah, so for the whole pregnancy, she was known as Knuckles. Knuckles. And, uh, and the, the gorgeous viewers that sent gifts and stuff for her, it was all to Knuckles. Oh, how lovely. And I think she knows that. She's a feisty young Is Isn't, isn't young Knuckles thing? one of the characters as well in uh, Bugsy Malone? I don't isn't know. Isn't there Knuckles in that? I'm sure Probably. there is. Probably. Probably. Someone, someone will let me know. Someone will know. Someone so, always knows. That's yes. what I love about our audiences. They always yeah. know. If mine was, if I went on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I think my phone and friend would be a, a Chandler audience member, I think. I think definitely. Then everybody, yeah, always it's great, isn't it? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I do. Honestly, yeah. if you want to know anything at all, you, I just use it as my own personal reference, basically. Wait for a show, come and ask people. Like yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah. But more truthful. Craftopedia. 
Craftopedia, you're that's, on that's, to something well, there. I think so as well. Yeah. I think you are. Ask the crafters. Perfect. Just again, just trimming back. Um, I, I'm not one for following patterns, really. So you know, <laughs> normally we would just make pattern. sure that. Well, yeah, I mean, technically it's Janice. I mean, she designed it for us <laughs> uh, and did a very lovely job of it. And it's called, what's it, it's called the, what's it Infinity called? Scarf. Infinity Scarf. There we go. This is, this is what we are creating at the moment. So you've got three different, fat quarters they're made from, aren't they? Yeah, three yeah, three yeah. fat quarters. And uh, as Natasha was saying, you know, that uh, the, the, the advice is to go be bold. Yes. Be bold, so you can see bold the difference beautiful. of the materials, of course, all the way around. So we're just working on uh, on those. But yeah, that's the hardest bit about these designs, actually. What fabric are you going to go oh, with? Because they are all right. have a very strong case of being chosen. Yes, yes, they do. They really do. I think this is one of my favourites. I do love that. It's it's a really striking one. I think that's mm. um, I think that's is that diamond stripe in moody. That's that it's be. so cool. Is. Do you know what? If only, if only hand. Do you remember those old hand towels? Oh yeah. It's like a continual hand towel one in that sort of style, but you never used the know. ones in the toilets. You came up with dirtier hands and you went in. I'm pretty sure that's why we didn't get sick as kids. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> We exactly. Had to use those. And when they got to the very end of the roll, you try to find a little bit in the <laughs> corner and just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Our kids don't know they're alive, no, do they? No, I tell you what, they're born. They <laughs> do not know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys. Do you know what we're going to do now? We Go are on. just going to fold it right sides together lengthways. Okay. Like so. Bye bye. Uh huh. Nice. And stitch down that long line. Just, wow, just that, just stitch one down, one down. Okay. What, do you want to be doing that little bit while yeah. I just, I, I think I have a little bit of work to do. I have specifically chosen things that give me a lot of stitching so that you can waft fabrics <laughs> left, right and centre, Scott. I'm going to waft, hang on, I'm just going to just cascade and waft. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, Scott we'll Wafford. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We'll get that, uh, yeah. The one day special, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, if you are a lover of colour, yeah, if you're a lover of fabric, yeah, if you love designer prints and images, then you will love what we have got for you uh, from the One Day Special. Ooh, we, for the Mega Bundle, for a fat quarter, for 24 pieces of the fat quarter altogether for the Mega Bundle, we are approaching a quarter of the stock. There, there's a connection, isn't there? Um, now, if you wanted to, you can get these split down in the two separate options if you wanted to. Uh, I'll be honest with you, very few people are doing it. Why? Because the big saving is all in going for all of those where you'll be saving £25 and that's going to give you less of a nightmare thinking, well, which one shall I go with? Don't, don't stress. We haven't got time. I mean, Christmas is coming and, uh, you know, before we know it, uh, it's going to be, you know, mince pies and, uh, and snowballs. So we just need to crack on. I suggest save your time. Go for the bundle. It's a £25 saving, and you have got so many beautiful colours. And uh, the, um, the piece at the moment that Tash is working on, you're looking at three fat quarters to work with. Uh, you've got 24 fat quarters in this complete bundle. So you've got huge amounts of material to make that project, and so much more. If you're going to be clashing, I mean, these are stunning. £77. We are on extended delivery, by the way. So we're looking at two weeks on that. That's the 17th of December, uh, 708. Two four one, and it is on your flexi buy as well. Two payments of just thirty eight pounds and fifty pence, and then you've got those uh, all ready for you. Seven zero eight two four one, uh, and that's all available for you right now. That's. If that's for your first option, and there's so many options on the show, um, we've also got another lovely option for you for a pick a mix. I don't know what happened there. Sorry about that. A little moment. Little, little moment. We have got two options. We've got the Autumn 2020 and we've got the 2020 collection. Let's start with the Autumn uh, 2020 that we're looking at. I showed you sort of the lovely po sort of polka dots that were sort of working. Oh, there we go. There's another. See, this is, I'm putting out my favourites. Is that, am I allowed to do that? Perk of the job, isn't it? 
So this is this. Here's the uh, the one I was looking at earlier on that we looked at that was in the fat quarters to go with. But again, here is that same design. So you've got those in the different variants. So here you've got oranges and you've got your uh, beautiful pinks uh, to go through and your. Um, uh, lavenders, you've got your greys that work in here. You've got those really vibrant blues. You've got the orange, you've got the browns uh, that all work together. Was there another one of those in there? Was it just the two of the, I think it's just the two of those ones in there for the work from as well, but they are gorgeous. Uh, I really did like a lovely octopus. You got your variable different ones in there. We got that in the black, the black background. We also had that in blue uh, that we can see. They are really, really lovely. I'm getting a lot of a lot of yays for the blue for the octopus as well. A lot of people are really enjoying uh, that one as well. But that's entirely up to you. Um, we have. Oh no, there was a third. There was a third. Was that? The, oh, there was a third. There was a third in there as well. Is that right? That's right, isn't it? Was that the same one? Is that the same one? I've got the two of one. Same. They are the same. Well, we've got two of them on this on this row. So I mean, as if it wasn't confusing enough, they put two of the same one on there for me. That's uh, there we go. Um, is this uh, what we've we got here with this? These are beautiful. Now then, can you just help me with the name on this one, Natasha? Uh, just Fury in mauve. Mini Fury in mauve. Yes. We had a set out on this already, I think, actually, haven't we? we it's the dust. Dusty. That was the dusty Mini Fury in dusty. But they are absolutely beautiful. The mini fair in oak in okra, okra. Yep. is always gonna sell out. Half half the stock of that is gone. Half so the that stock. is if you keep going up, I'll tell you and stop and we'll show so it's the same no, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. I'm, I'm into the next bundle here, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, keep no. Going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's not, I don't think it's that side, is it? It should be in the first pick and mix, I think. For that Mini one. Fury in ochre? Yeah. Is it? I believe so. It's up the other end. It's up the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep going then. Just going to digging through. I tell you what, it was like speed, speed wafting. I tell you what, That's I've, what I've it never was. wafted quite so quickly. Um, is it down this end? No. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it when the camera's not on me. Uh, eight three zero one two six twenty seven ninety nine. Pick any four. But yeah, that's for your autumn twenty twenty. Just to jump to the right. Uh, then you've got the. Uh, tell you what, these make you feel like you're young. <laughs> and yep. then you do movements like that, and you realise you shouldn't. You're still a dad. Uh, right. Uh, these are the uh, these are the collective 2020 that we are looking at here, and again, really, really lovely, beautiful. So we had the watermelons uh, that we we're just looking at a second ago in those, and that is with the blue, uh, really beautiful. And there's a couple of different ones of those uh, that are in here. Loving that again. We said about with that black yeah. background, very dramatic, really fantastic those as well. Uh, let's go down the other end where I didn't reach quite so far last time, and this was the one that I had this. That's the equivalent. Yeah, that's it in pink. That's, that's it. it in so pink. Animal. I animal like that in, in the pink. pink. That's why we, we had to give it to you for, in orange. Animal. The animal. Yeah. Um, and do I have more octopus? Yeah. yeah There's, you do. There we go. Look, we've seen it in yeah. the other collection as well, but here's a. So we that. did the stowaway bag, which is going to be my son's swimming bag when that all starts again. Oh. In the orange version of that. I've got it just oh, here. Oh, nice. And, um,. And it just, it's just so much fun. Oh, the, oh wow. That's brilliant. Like for a swimming bag, isn't that cool? That is great. And then uh, he can put his water bottle in the front there. That is br That is really great. Is that what, have we got that design available for people? Yeah, yeah, it's the stowaway bag. Go for that. So this was designed again by my friend Gemma. Um, and this was because when her daughter was little, she couldn't go anywhere without her favourite toy. But her favourite toy couldn't go in the bag in case it couldn't breathe. Oh, So the teddy enough. always had to sit in the pocket on the outside. Fair enough. Stay away. But now it means that you can put your ballet shoes in there or your water bottle or you know, have it as a gym bag or I've whatever. I've got all those. Yeah. I've got all those. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to go for the pattern, down the bottom of your screen is where your pick and mix is. 11 for any two of those. 475729. Top of your screen, 307639. That's your pick and mix, any four, for your collective uh, 2020. So, website, hachanda.com. 
Uh, now we've got loads there again. I mean, it's a really busy site, of course, for all of those uh, options that are available for you. All those dumb, wonderful designs. Um, love it. I'm loving all of these. I'm loving the book cover we've got in there as well. The stowaway. There we go. Stowaway bag. There it is. Uh, we've also got the fold down storage caddy. Um, loving that. We've got the Arrow Star cushion. I know that's here on the show. That is absolutely fantastic. That is beautiful. That's brand new today. Brand and new. I will demo that tomorrow. But if you want to see the fold down storage caddy in that octopus. That, it looks so, they look so cool. Every project looks so cool in the fabric. And then all you do is fold it down. Oh, now, that is brilliant. I made this the last time we had Kay on the show and I was chatting and I f completely forgot to put the elastic in, but it normally has elastic in the inside. Maybe we'll make this again tomorrow oh, as okay, well. Okay. And then you can, you can stand your toiletries or whatever in the elastic so they all stand up and they travel really nicely and easily. And then you just roll down and everything is there and accessible. I like that. Yeah, and then when you're ready, you just fold it up, pull the drawstring, and off you go. That is great. That is When we're allowed to be on the move a little bit more, that is perfect, that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Really but even good. if you just put your kids' colouring pens or paints or whatever in there and just store them. Yes, perfect, perfect. Uh, we've also got a Another uh, brilliant bundle for you as well. This is going to give you 40 fat quarters uh, that you're going to see, um, which is uh, be another fantastic deal. All of these that you can see, 40 fat quarter. Now, this bundle, it has been seen before. But it is here now on a special price that you can see, and it is on a flexi buy, so you can get three payments of forty-one pounds sixty-five pence. Now, I will tell you, we There's don't. There's the ochre right we... in the middle there. We're... There, there, there. Oh. there. Right in the middle of the screen. There. Over a bit. On the screen? On the screen. Where? where? On the screen? In the sc on the screen. Look at the screen. Ochre is right in the middle. That, that, across, in, there, there, there. That's the ochre. Next to the animal in sage. That, in, 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 in. Behind, just by, literally by your knuckle. I, I've got, I've got everyone there, shouting there, at there. me in a moment. It's the <laughs> worst game ever. Right, go to spots. That no, one. No, Can no, everyone no. else see it? No, the, no, so this no, is a no. new game. So tell everyone to right. say stop. I'll go backwards. Stop! That one! Is your Millifurio car? <laughs> God, I tell you what. I, I tell you what, somewhere. if we were a team on, on Crystal <laughs> Maze or anything like that, I, I had rubbish. three voices shouting at me, and some were quite aggressive, everybody. I'm a, <laughs> I may look butch, everybody. I know this is butch. It may look butch, but I'm, I was crying on the inside. Um, yeah, but yes, I'm not saying anybody at all, Molly. No one at all. Molly, uh, but <laughs> this is the one we were looking for. This is the one, and this is the one that my friend's biker boyfriend said, I want a smarf out of that. Yes. And he does, because his beard doesn't fit in oh. any mask. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a very good point, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think with glasses I've got it bad, but I haven't got facial hair with it. He has glasses and beard. Oh, he shouldn't go out. I know, well, he doesn't. Uh, unless he's wearing yeah. this. <laughs> But you see, and also it fits underneath his um, underneath his helmet, really nice as well. Oh, I think it sounds very, very cool. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to go, for, oh, I've got wrist ache now. If you would like to go uh, for the pick of it, there's seven four eight seven three five. It's the whole lot. Sorry, it's a forty fat quarter mega bundle. <sighs> Tash, over to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we've got to do something now. We've got Apart four and a half minutes. Left a bit, right a bit, left a bit, right a bit. <laughs> so we've sewn all the way down. We've got a great long tube. And you can do it so that you do the fabrics so that they're wider and do it that way. I sewed them narrower so it's going to be long. So this will go around me probably three times. Whoa, whoa. Well, I know. But if you want it to only go around twice, then just sew them in the other, other way. It, it's all in the pattern. Put it on. A bit like a, what do they call them? A muff? A one, like, one, like, like, like don't, used to. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not falling no, for that. A snood? No. <laughs> don't listen. I heard what, I heard what you did to Yanis with getting to <laughs> shout out words. I'm not shouting that out. Basically, you're going to pull it so that it's right sides together, but don't pull it all the way through. And you're going to match your seams together like that. <laughs> like so. It's giggling there, Scott. <laughs> not me, I not me. I'm just sort of an old joke. You don't come to here for have fun. I know, I know. Stop it. Every day is a lonely day. It's a very, <laughs> very um, serious day. And then, if you've got an extension table, take it off. Oh, there were sparkly things on the screen. Have you seen them? Yeah, no, I love a bit of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this made me really happy. Oh. And, uh, I don't know how the clever, clever bods have done that. I know, it's, it's brilliant. Very clever. The, 
is, I mean, it's been there for three days, but I mean, there are, <laughs> there are little people that stand above the screen and sprinkle them down. So I had to do, my broadband went down, so I had to do a Facebook Live off my phone. Is it a long than, story, by the way? We've got three minutes. I just wanted to... Rather like, they than were just getting studio. worried in the gallery. No, no, it, no, no, no. It's, uh, so but I just want to know. It's... On Facebook, you can, you, can, you can do all sorts of sparkly things. Oh, sorry. I mean, it went horribly wrong for me because I pressed the wrong button. But, you they, know... They just thought this was an episode of Watchdog. They were just making sure that we were all OK. Did you get it sorted? I'm not going to tell you. No, oh, go on, did you? I won't know. No. Someone had cut our broadband. Someone had actually cut it? Cut the wire, yeah. Who Blimey. does that? Anyway, uh, so you want to go all the way around here, but leave yourself a turning through gap. All right. So I'm, still everything... quite, I'm still quite alarmed about that. Yeah, I know. Weird, huh? Um, oh, gosh. But it's all right, we sent a little man up a pole, it was fine, he got it sorted. Not all the good. north one. <laughs> That's a long old trick. Yeah. To try and get, to try and get some speed back on your broadband. With a beard, it was very straight. Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, And then just pull all of that through and hand stitch the turning through gap. Is it done? Marvellous. That is brilliant. The infinity scarf right there. Three fat quarters worth of material to work with. Yeah. Uh, the instructions are there for you if you'd like to go for those as part of a pick and mix. Uh, the advice I'm hearing is go bold. Go bold. Go bold. Go big or go home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you would just you would just slip stitch that shut, and there you go. That's gonna look amazing. Could you put like a little pouch in there so you could put like a little uh, hip flask in there or maybe a little uh, little water bottle? Yeah. That's an idea. I think we should get together on that one. Yeah. Something nice. I could put a hot water bottle into my little hands. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're nodding and I can see your face is saying yes, but deep down I know you're going, no, Scott. No, what I'm thinking is um, I go back to my early comment on, on the whatever they were called. Uh. <laughs> we got one minute left. Thank goodness. Um, uh, okay, we are approaching 30%. I think it's called a snood, isn't it? Um, <laughs> still there? Um, uh, I forgot what I said. Th approaching 30% approaching of the one day special uh, already allocated. Uh, and it is fantastic. I know there's a lot of choice. Look, the show's again tomorrow live from 8 and 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock for final call. Uh, my advice would be is study them on there. Have a good look at them. If you've got any questions, let us know in the studio tomorrow morning. Uh, but you've got so much choice in there. Take your time. Have a look through of whichever one of those you want to go through. And you pick and mixes and enjoy going for the whole collection if you can do. Because there's a huge amount of colour there. Way to be put into your projects. Make sure you can come back and join Natasha again from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll be back in. It's been yeah. a pleasure, and thank Quite you very much indeed, My Natasha. I pleasure. love that. Thank love you it. Very much. Uh, Have a cracky rest of the evening. If you can stay with me, I'll be back after this. Oh, what fun, what fun. And we continue on now with some wonderful characters with the wee woolly wonderfuls, and they really are wonderful. If you haven't seen the show yet, please come back and join us with the brew in a second. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app 
and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochander to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. They're all of our kits uh, come pre-cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello everybody and welcome back with us uh, for this evening. It's eight, nine o'clock. I forgot what time was there for a second. Nine o'clock and it's lovely to be with you. Hope you've had a lovely day. Hope you can sit back, relax and, uh, and make the most because we are, f we are with our, our cuddly friends uh, from the fantastic We Woolly Wonderfuls, which I think is the best name in business for this. I think they are lovely. And also lovely and the creator of all of our lovely friends is lovely Lisa that is with us, of course. <laughs> and it's your very own company. It you bring is. your very yes. own friends with you. I do, yes. I brought them all with me today. I, I love it. Yeah. A very good evening to you. Lovely Good to evening. be with you this hour. Um, and we had a really lovely hour earlier on together when you was on for us uh, early after or late afternoon. And uh, it was where we sort of were introduced or I was introduced to all of these. These are fantastic. They're fantastic projects. And uh, what I love is the quality that we get. I mean, they're really beautifully made and constructed and put together. We're going to give you all the instructions you need. And what was also lovely that you were saying, there's something in here again for real beginners. So even yes. people that are more advanced, what you can sort of add your own sort of style in but mm. um but tell us a little bit about the company because there's some mm. people may not have seen you on us on the show before i know you've been yeah. with us a few times but just tell us because there's a lovely story how it all came about really <laughs> yeah it's all started oh well, i used to be into crafts when i was a child yeah and then i just got out of it teenage years growing up Fair you enough. know did <laughs> yeah. plenty of other things to do a different career completely yeah 
And then when I was pregnant with my son, I just wanted to hand make him something. Yeah. And I kept seeing all these lovely crochet things. I couldn't crack it. I just could not work it out. Oh. Um, so when I eventually did, I thought there must be an easier way. Yeah. And I thought, I don't want to go back to a nine to five with long hours yeah. with a little one. Yeah. So I thought, yeah. I'll just set something up at home. Right. You know, it started slowly and yeah. it's, it's just built momentum. I think I've just it seems really to love the characters and... It's, it's great yeah. that it has grown. And, and one thing which we'll talk a little bit mm. as the show goes on as well, uh, that which was, uh, coming, it comes across mm. loud and clear as well, is we've got really fantastic online support. So there's mm. loads of uh, YouTube uh, tutorials as well. All you've got to do is mm. search for Wee Woolly Wonderfuls. And in there, there's lots of, sometimes almost, yeah. some of the more tricky elements of that. Yes. Again, you've got tutorials there that people can watch, stop, start, pause, play. So mm. you've got a lot of support for whatever your project is you're going for. And I think mm. that's great that, uh, that that's there for everybody. It's it lovely. Is. Please. And we have a really good Facebook group, which is oh, like a right. community. Yeah. Um, so it's called We Woolly Wonderful's Community of Woolly Friends. Oh, <laughs> so it's got a fun title. Lovely. But it's the place you can come in, show everybody what your makes are. Right. If you've got a question, you're stuck on something, people just come in and ask. Right. And if I don't get there first, someone else Someone's gets there and it. answers the question. Oh, that is. And if anybody's stuck with anything, there's help. And people make them in all different colours. And it's just great seeing yeah. everybody's made. Yeah, so no, it's great. That's and a it's great it's thing a support... to join in with. Yes, yeah, no, that fun. is lovely. It is lovely. Yeah. And in fact, if you're wondering, our, our mm. lion friend here as well actually made his, he's made his first TV appearance earlier on today. <laughs> and he sort of came out of that sort of community online, wasn't he? He did. Really? He did. We were doing a crochet along. Because um, we do those quite often, where yeah. everybody joins in and we, we make something together. And I thought, I can't just make the normal lion. I thought, <laughs> I'm going to have to do something a bit different. So I came up with the idea of making huge lion. <laughs> huge lion. I'm and it. he's exactly the same pattern, but you just actually use three strands of wool and a bigger hook. Oh, right. So if someone wanted to make him, yeah. they could actually get the lion kit, but you just need an extra couple of balls of, uh, oh, of the wool of, of the each colour. And you can make him. So oh, that's you can brilliant. have your own lockdown lion. Yeah, lockdown lion. I, I love that. He, <laughs> he is brilliant. He's great for well, a cuddle. <laughs> we will, we will, when we show you that, we'll just bear that in mind, everybody, when we come to the lion uh, design that we've got for you. Let's start off festive, though. Mm -hmm. And the brand new uh, we've got this is Ryan the reindeer and baby reindeer. Now, again, Ryan is a lovely kid uh, and, and very close to your heart because Ryan is named yes. after someone very special. He is. Yes. He's named after my eight-year-old. Oh. Yes. So. <laughs> because because he was kicking off because he said there's no <laughs> no one named after him, was there? He, so. That's true. We've seen all the other characters, um, all with different names, and he just he, so why is there not one named after me? So I couldn't resist that, especially with the reindeer just about to be, you know, the new design just coming oh. out. So. Ryan the reindeer it was. Honestly, mm. so, so beautifully made. They really are. And again, the detail, I'll just turn Ryan around so you can sort of see his lovely scarf. And again, it's exactly the same as you're going to be getting with the mini project as well with a little reindeer, but beautiful. And again, earlier on, we were seeing how to do the eyes as well, you know, seeing how to do the antlers for them for their projects, but they are really gorgeous. If you're going to go for the bundle, you're going to be able to the details itself there, and it's all beautifully fully illustrated as well with your photos and step by step as well when you're working with uh, putting our uh, Ryan together. Again, it really is step by step and all the information that you need to do that. You're also going to be getting uh, the wool itself, of course, all of your fabrics that you require. And also in here, you're going to be getting the crochet hook. You're going to be getting all the details, uh, the fabrics again for the eyes to work from as well, uh, a, a place keeper for you. And you're going to be getting the bag and you're going to be mm -hmm. getting all of the stuffing that you require as well to work with. And this really is great because the, uh, all the projects uh, right across the boards uh, on these, they're really mm. sturdy and lovely and firm mm. as well. They don't sort of squidge away and become yeah. weak or anything on the arms, but they're really lovely. Yeah. The, the, the fabric, or the material you're inside is great for that, isn't mm. it? It's a really good stuff in here. Yeah. Lots of people ask me where I, where I get it from because it's... Plus, you're also going to get Baby Ryan as well, uh, which is also available on his own if you wanted to. Uh, you can do. The details for that will bring up on the bottom of the screen. Now, of course, with the Baby Ryan in the op on the option there, you won't be getting the crochet tools, uh, you won't be getting the bag, for example, but you will be getting the materials and you're getting the instructions and you'll be getting all the stuff in. Now, if you go for both of those together, then you've got a saving on there of seven pounds, and that's 732315 for all of that that you can see right here for just 34 pounds and 98, which is phenomenal. Uh, I just want to point out, by the way, if you do go for 
the individual project on its own, you also may want to say, if you haven't got the kits, then actually we've actually got the crochet uh, tools themselves, which will bring those up for you. And uh, you've got a set of nine. I call it the croquet tools, I only got it very wrong. <laughs> uh, the crochet tools uh, that you've got here. Uh, and these are going to be sizes of your hooks from two up to six millimeter. And they're really, really nice set, actually. So even if you know someone's just starting out to the crochet, what a lovely little uh, stocking filler for them for Christmas to work with. Uh, or great for you to have that, 284-800. Or I should also say, while stocks last, and I will say on this, it is first come, first served. Uh, there's also a free gift if you make a purchase in this hour, where you've got these really lovely uh, long pins that you've got here, all with those lovely coloured love heart tips that you can see at the end. So there's these one free for every person that makes a purchase in this hour, whilst stocks last. So you'll be getting those, it's lovely. Now... The adorable kittens. Well behaved, by. They haven't moved much since our earlier show, to be honest, which is which is very nice. <laughs> They've not run amok with us. Uh, but these are lovely. We got the kit here that makes three of the kittens for just nineteen ninety nine. But actually, the instructions in here mm -hmm. is going to be for all of the kittens yes. that's available. That's it right, is. isn't it? Th what was the what was the uh, sort of um, inspiration behind? I love your little kittens. Or are you just a big fan of uh, the little pussy cat anyway? <laughs> Well, the inspiration was, um, they're all based on my customers, pet cats. Ah. So a lot of them, they're all named after them um, and the same colours. We asked for our customers to put pictures on of all their pet cats. Um, so, and that's what we worked from. Ah. We chose five at random and, and just did all different styles of of little kittens. They are mm -hmm. so, so cute. And, and these, if you wanted to, um, my little girl loves that little pussy cat, etc. <laughs> but is this something that you can ever go sort of teaching and working with sort of someone younger again? as a little mini project to work on, or is it still mm -hmm. going to be a little bit too much again? I suppose it depends on um, age. Really, it depends. But... If someone can crochet, they could teach someone else to do it. The, um, the mini kits are, are more for people who can crochet already, but you could certainly. Um, you know, to try and teach a child to do it. We have actually got crochets as young as 10 or 11 in our oh, group. Oh, lovely. Um, that have learnt. So, certainly is. They need a little bit of patience. Yeah. But as yeah. long as they've got a bit of patience and they like craft, it's a great thing to get into. Oh, they are lovely. Look, look, this one has actually got the little ball of wool. Literally, is <laughs> going to be playing with it as well. Uh, that's lovely. So you will be getting in the kit the instructions to make uh, all of the kittens, uh, but you'll get the fabrics, everything you need to be able to make three of those, which is stunning. Six six four seven two zero. Only nineteen ninety nine. Uh, now, uh, really, I mean, I to be honest. I love our lion, and I, and I do love Ryan as well, and the kittens are gorgeous, and we've got some real characters to meet yet as well. But, star of the show for me, and in fact, was uh, one of the best sellers from our previous mm. show, this, meet everybody, Sherbert, the fantastic rainbow giraffe. Um, was this a dream that you woke up and thought, I must do this, or was this uh, just out of uh, the imagination? But uh, a, a multicoloured rainbow effect oh, giraffe. Go on, explain. I just, just wanted something rainbow. With, with everybody during lockdown, rainbows were a big thing. And we have a giraffe, just a normal coloured one. And oh. I thought, I'm just going to... It was actually another crochet along. Oh, was it? Um, yeah, we were doing a crochet along for the giraffe. And I said to my... My son Ryan, I said, pick some wool out, what can I do him in? And he found that <laughs> bottle of wool um, in my wool stash, I forgot they even <laughs> had it. And he said, make him in this. I was like, oh, what oh. a great idea. So I made it, and then when people saw it, they just said, we want that as a kit. We really want to make the rainbow one. So right, that's where the idea came from. I, uh, well, look, what a absolutely, you, you can't help but smile when you see it. In fact, when you look at the yarn itself that you'd be working with, you can't help but smile when you see that. It's an absolutely beautiful mix of those brightest of colours. And when everything's been so, especially we get to these kind of months, when everything's a bit dark and dull and a bit cold, etc., when you want a little bit of cheeriness, I mean, to light up a room, to be honest, you know, anything, that is beautiful. Uh, you're going to get all of the instructions, all the stuff when you require. You're going to be getting your crochet tool as well, and again, all those finer details, whatever there. and of course, you've got the lovely bag to go with it. Uh, that is a really lovely project. It was one of the best sellers in the last hour when we were together uh, bringing you these and you can see why really 28.99 please get it before he's sold out 928.519 the most happy-go-lucky giraffe you are ever going to want to meet i promise you that is lovely
Uh, now, I tell you what you find on these. There's lots of wonderful, the really interesting little characters that you, mm. you sort of bring along. We've got the little kittens, we've got reindeers, and now you can have those gorgeous little cheeky Christmas, Christmas little mice that you can see. I love them. The little Christmas hats that they've got, and the detail again of their little scarf, the lovely little pink ears that go with a little pink nose, and then you've also got the lovely, a gorgeous Christmas jumper that every good mouse should be seen wearing. The, uh, these are lovely projects, aren't they, as well? They're great. They're great little stocking fillers as yes. well. I've got people who make entire armies of them, and oh, across wow. all the children in the family. They're a lovely little, a lovely little stocking filler they for really, them. Look at them. I mean, you, you can actually work with, with, with these. I mean, just as, uh, you know, if I, I'm starting out, mm. What sort of length of time are these? Are we looking at? So, so I want to just pick one up, by the way, as well, because they've got their fantastic little tail on them. Uh, yeah. But what sort of uh, uh, sort of timings do we think it will make to make a little project like um, one of these? You could probably make one of those in about three hours. Oh right, so you can make okay. one in the evening if you if you can already crochet. You can make one of those in the evening. Yes. Oh well, then I think you need to be making a little army of these uh, to work with because uh, they really are stunning. Uh, you're going to get uh, all the materials in there that you need to make two of them. But once you've got that kit, of course, and you've actually got uh, the instructions on how to do them, uh, then of course I'm sure you'll be able to make uh, a few more to go with them to keep them company. Uh, I love that idea with them all. Noel down the front there. 761048, only 1699. Great kit for you to start working with, which is lovely. Now, we mentioned our fabulous lion, and uh, we've now got, I uh, think this is, this is the first one, absolutely perfect. This is Alfred the lion. He's 36, uh, and, is it 36 and a half centimetres, I think? 36 centimetres when he stood up, as you can see there, with the best head of hair. I tell you what, even Yanis would be envious of that. That is a good head of hair that you can see there, and a fantastic tail that every good lion so look at that. That is what a may. This, this is such a lovely mm. project, that is. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, is this beginner? Is this a, maybe a little step on from a beginner to work on as a project? A little step on. The giraffe's a complete beginner with the video tutorials. The lion, once you've made the giraffe, you could then move on to the lion. Right, oh, okay. Because there are tutorials for his foot, which is just slightly different the way that's made, and also for the mane. So the, the two new techniques, there's a video for. Oh. So a second project would be perfect for. That, that honestly is beautiful. So, and again, we think that uh, if, if we are a little bit more advanced, uh, advanced on this, you were saying that this is something that we could grade up to work on our lockdown line if you want to make it a bit bigger. Yeah. That is, that is brilliant. They are, honestly, they are fabulous. Twenty three ninety nine uh, for this. Again, really lovely project, isn't it? I mean, who wouldn't want one of these possibly on their bed when it's all been made for them? Or if you can get this done in time as well, possibly as a lovely present uh, for, for Christmas to work with. Uh, 235769 uh, I love that. Really, really lovely. It's gorgeous. And again, all of your instructions and all of the filling as well to go with it, which is called the luxury crochet kit there. Now, these are cheeky. You know you have the cheeky Christmas elf uh, that gets up to all sort of mischief as well around the house. Well, here, have a little look. Yeah, they're on the, the shelf, the elf on the shelf. They're always, you know, in the, you put them in little different places and they do little things. Uh, well, here, you've got me, Ernie, Bernie and Sid. Uh, Ernie, Bernie and Sid, the elves of the crochet kit. Now, you've got the three here, but actually, you've got enough of the material to make six within this particular bundle. So uh, you got to, you can have Ernie and Ernie, Bernie and Bernie, and Sid and Sid. Uh, so you can have all six. They are, look, just look at their lovely faces, their little pink cheeks. They've got a biggest smile that you could find there, perfectly dressed, ready for Christmas, and all, all sorts. I mean, make an army of these lovely little elves. Uh, they could be part of your collection and tradition going through. Really love it. Maybe you're going to create your very own little uh, Christmas workshop for them. I love these. I think these are so mischievous and fantastic. I love them, love them. One, one, two, four, nine, seven, just 26, 99. Lovely projects to work on. Like I say, you'll have enough material to make six of Ernie, Bernie and Sid. Now, if you're a bit spoiled for choice and you're not quite sure which one you want to go for, and how about the pick a mix? And it's a brilliant price. Look at this, nine ninety nine only. Nine ninety nine, and you can pick and mix any four that you would like to work with. Now you've got your little mini uh, lions in here. We've also got rabbits. You can find the little bunny rabbits on there. We've also got one of my favourites. Has got to be the hippopotamus and the duck that come together. The little hippo and duck uh, that you can see. They are stunning. I really, really love these. We've also got. 
hidden around the studio. You might see, I think there's one above my head, there's a cheeky little elephant uh, that may well have also uh, tried to escape from the show. So there we go. It looks like they're sitting on my head, it looks like. There we go. Uh, I'll just duck out of the way for you. There we go. That's not my head, by the way. That's a, that's a gingerbread man. Uh, we've, it could have been. Uh, that, there's the actual head. Uh, there's our, he's, looking at me, he's looking at me in quite a, quite a, quite a cheeky little way uh, that we've got elephant. We've also got in the tree, now we've got our lovely little mini giraffe that we can see. There he is, a little giraffe there looking gorgeous. Now, if you love a unicorn, that's also one of your pick and mix. And over here, lay! There is our little unicorn hidden away in the Christmas tree. So, you can go for it. Look, great price. $9.99. Four of those patterns to work for, 496814, all in the, uh, the you know, UK business here, bringing this to you. Uh, a company that, uh, as you've heard there, is all come from passion for making these. The lovely little bear, the classic little bear. Um, treat yourself for under a tenner. And don't forget, if you're in time for those as well, you get your free gift as well of all those wonderful pins just for making a purchase in this hour whilst stocks last. It's, it's gorgeous. So, 9 99 Now, also, what's that? Is it? OK, right. It's getting very busy. Sherbert says it's getting very, very busy for... Not as good looking as Yanis. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I'm doing, I'm doing my best. Um, so, uh, if you would like to uh, give Sherbert a home, we're getting very quick uh, while he's very, very, very busy indeed. Nine two eight five one nine. Really brilliant uh, project here. He's going to put a lot of smiles on a lot of faces, uh, possibly this Christmas as well. Just twenty eight uh, ninety nine. If you would like to go for our Sherbert, uh, who is an absolute star of the show again it seems, uh, with all of his friends. Uh, right then, okay, so demonstrations, demonstrations. Don't forget there's an awful lot of uh, work that you'll be able to find on YouTube as well for more support. But who are we going to be looking at first of all this evening then, Lisa? Ah, we're going to be doing some lion's mane. Ooh, mm, love Because it. you were so impressed with his mane. I thought I'd have to show everybody how to do it. Yes, please. I could do it <laughs> myself. Yeah, yes, please. So earlier on we did show how to sew on neatly. So if you missed that, you'll have to try and <laughs> watch it back again. Yes, yeah, catch it on rewind. The, um, the main, I'll show you how easy it is. It looks complicated, but it's not. All you need is something that's seven centimetres. Anything will, will work, as long as it's roughly seven centimetres. But I've got a piece of card ready. And we're just going to wrap it round and round, like so. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. far, so good for me so on this. So far, nice and easy. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> and, and you get all do... the wool with your project as well. It's all coming yes. as part of it. So, and then all you do, once you've wrapped it around a few times, is just cut one side, like so. And that gives us the pieces that are the right length. Ah. Aha. So you can prepare as many as you want. You do get lots more wool than you need, so if you want to make him a really, really impressive mane, you can do. And all we do is we use our crochet hook, and we're going to do around his face first, all the way around. And we put our hook around the edge where the collar change is. Oh, yes, yeah. And then all we're going to do is put a piece of wool on there, like so pull it through and then we don't pull it all the way through what we're going to do now is put the two ends through the loop like so like that. oh okay that's it and oh, what we do it. with the edging is we do one piece in each stitch all the way around his face to frame his face and I'll show you some more and then after that all we do is fill in the back at random so you would do as many as you want all over the head. Oh, right. And you can either make the mane just quite a slim mane, or you can you can just go for it and put lots on. And that is that exactly the same That's process it. again for the tail, the end of the tail as well yes, to work through? Yes, exactly the same. We just cut the pieces the same and then do them on the copper end. So the end of the tail there is the copper wool underneath. So all you need to do is cover that section. 
just like that. It's, so it's exactly effective. the same technique. It's really simple. And it's one of those things you can you can just do while you're watching something on the television, you know, yeah. just it's quite therapeutic to do it. And so it's one of those, that. You, you can't it. really overdo it with that because it's more, yeah. the more that's in there, the more luxurious The it more the better. Feels. It gives him more, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just gives him more and more character the more yeah, name does. you give it him. It really does. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's really lovely. Around. And ultimately that's Simple. what your lions are known for, isn't it? The big manes. Yes. And all I did with the lockdown lion is I actually made the pieces a bit longer. Right. And I did two, two strands in every single piece of his mane. Oh, right. Just to make it even thicker. So I thought he, didn't, oh, I he needed an extra thick mane, didn't he? So we're just putting them through and through the loop. We love it. We was so asking for names for Lockdown Lion in our first show, and mm. uh, someone suggested they should call it Leone because of the uh, Leone Lockdown Lion because of the uh, the wayward hair. Well, that's what <laughs> we, we, we were quite shocked and surprised that uh, that I've never seen Leone with such such wayward hair as that. To be honest, uh, but it's but it is a lovely thick mane. It is a lovely thick mane. It is. It what's give, gives gives him his character. I think. Yeah, it, it, it really it? does. Yeah. It's lovely. Everybody seems to go for the giraffe, which oh, I love the giraffe. He's a great character. Yeah. Everybody who's made the lion, they always seem to say it's their favourite out of all the makes. You know, oh. People who've made lots of our characters. Yeah. They just say he's the favourite out of he, all he, of them. He's he the is one brilliant. that kids seem to love as well. As soon as they see him, they want him. <laughs> Give him a cuddle. <laughs> I, I think if, you, uh, if you're thinking of a project, I mean, any one of the characters, you're not going to be disappointed. One with the quality of the materials that you're working with in the wall, for example, and everything. And uh, as you just touched on there as well, there's plenty of materials. Like, for example, you know, we talked about the cheeky elves, uh, the three of those that you can make in there. But actually, there's enough material uh, for for the uh, for the Ernie Bur uh, Ernie. Uh, uh, Ernie, Bernie and Sid, there we go, uh, you've actually got enough material in there to make six, so double the amount that you would require, uh, the, what you actually really need in there, you're getting that many so you can make six in that particular project. So, you know, the generosity of, of actually making sure, you, you know, you're not skimping, you're not going to get sort of the, 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 the sort of skimping on the materials. Um, we talk about Alfie as being sort of like a luxury line. Is it, is it just per se with that? Because it is, mm. the materials are so lovely, the stuffing is as well. But um, Yeah, everything's high quality and yeah. you also get everything that you need in the kit. Yeah. Whereas you do see, you do see kits available where it's just more the pattern, the wool, or just, just the basics what you need. Yeah. Whereas with our luxury kits, you get everything you need. Yes. So it's great to, if you're going away, some, well, if you're going away somewhere or well, <laughs> going on a trip, yes, yes, you can just take it with you in the bag, knowing that everything's in there. The only thing you would need is a pair of scissors, yeah, right, really, and right, everybody's got it. those. It's lovely. So you just need that, and you can just take it, take it with you if you're going somewhere. You've not a car journey. I that's take, true. Yeah. I take a kit. Yes. Sir. Something to do, unless I'm driving, to, and to I try the, not to. I yeah, that's. <laughs> That's very sensible. That's very sensible. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we were talking in the first show as well about whether you remember your very first sort of cuddly toy, possibly as well from childhood. Because I was saying about I had a there's a lady that lived across the road from us when uh, sort of the, our family home when I was growing up, and uh, I remember she made me this this sort of. Um, cuddly uh, sort of little teddy bear uh, to work with and I found it not that long ago um, we obviously moved around with me and uh, I still have it to this day it's there it's all boxed mm. up somewhere but it you, you never ever forget it it was pixie by the way Kessler was one a little pixie that was made what was your if you do remember yours if you still got yours even better, your very first cuddly toy. Um, let us know, studio at hachanda.com. If you've got a picture of it, even better. Uh, yeah. But what was it? What was it called? And, uh, and do you remember who made it for you, even more so as well? Well, I just my producers also. She, you still got yours, you say? A panda called Bamboo. Ah, oh, have you still got it? You still got it? Who made, who made that for you? Grandma made that for you. Oh, I love it. Lisa, do you remember what yours was? What was your first one that was either made for you or that? Oh, I don't know if I had one made for me, actually. <gasps> really? I know, I missed out. I feel oh. like I really missed out oh, now. Oh, no, I, I feel like I could share favorites. Pixie with you. I had lots of favourites when I was yeah. a child. I remember some of my favourite teddy bears. Yeah. But I don't remember one being made no. for me. That's, that's a real no, shame. I, I feel like I've touched the nerve there. <laughs> I didn't mean to do <laughs> Every, Everybody in the family, though, that has a baby, 
they always ask me to hand make something. Yeah, I'm sure. My nephew and his wife have got a baby due at the moment, right. and they've asked me to make something as well. Because yeah. the handmade one is the one that gets kept. It is. There might be another favourite that will get kept, but a lot of toys get passed on yeah. to other people, don't oh, they? Definitely. Or they grow out of them. But yeah. the handmade one is the one that they won't part with. It's, That's it, uh, the one that we'll keep forever. And it's got a sentimental value, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And I think it's because it's one. made for them. Yes. Made it, by like someone. you say, not from a shelf. So if you're thinking mm. of someone, maybe I'm thinking it's whether it's your, your godson or your goddaughter or your niece, your nephew, or maybe for your very own uh, new baby that's coming along, that, that fact that, that that photograph they have from when they're, they're just absolute little baby, babes in arms, and they've got that teddy with them that's their very first one. You, you, can't, you can't really buy that kind of history for it uh, for sentimental reasons. And these, you know, we talk about that. Yes, it's a financial. This one, twenty-three ninety-nine. you can actually go for the um, Alfred uh, the Lion, for example. Um, but it's much more than that, isn't it? It's, it's the growing up. And it's also, you know, Mrs. Reynolds was the lady that made my teddy that I remember from there and um, really lovely lady you know absolutely and I'll never forget her I mean, you know it's one of those things mm -hmm. it wasn't family but I'll never forget the name it's so things like this mm -hmm. really do have a place don't they in yes. people's hearts they do I think it's all becoming much more popular again now as yeah. well yeah it's there hasn't been it hasn't been as popular in the last few years handmade but now it's all back again people want to get back into traditional crafts yes yeah I agree rather than you know all shop bought or you know, the normal screens and, and toys like that. People it's true. are all going back to it in droves. They are. And a lot of my customers are really young. Right. You know, people used to think of, of things like this as a, an older person's hobby. It's not. No. It's definitely not. No, Most no. of my customers say they're as young as 10 or 11. That's brilliant. And lots of teenagers, 20s, 30s, right the way through the spectrum yeah. of ages. It's. It's brilliant seeing everybody getting into into crafts again. I think I think a lot of good. people talk about you know things in fashion that come in and go out mm. of fashion, and I certainly think, and I think through lockdown, I think this has been uh, really relevant as well. But I think a lot mm. of people are going back to those skills as well because you know sometimes we've actually mm. had to be remote. We've got to be on our own from all of those, mm. and I think also, I get bored of screens. I get bored of computers yes. and screens and phones and apps and all of those and maybe it's the same you know and sometimes you just want to be away from something that's not a monitor or not a screen unless it's a TV screen you're watching Hachanda then of course that's <laughs> all right uh, but um, but I think people are enjoying that going back to texture to being creative to doing mm -hmm. something using their hands rather than just yes. swiping uh, uh, across an image you know I think that's Definitely. the difference isn't it and people let me tell me all the time how it's it's just helped their mental health, helps yeah, them relax, absolutely. helps them calm down if they're stressed, busy day at work, mm. or just busy day with the children or something during yeah. the day. The thing they do on the night time is it's, to relax. And, whatever and so people, it's just yeah. helped them so much, especially while everybody's been stuck indoors a lot. Yes. They've, they've found something they really enjoy. No, no, um, you're, you're absolutely right. Really Everyone good. finds their own way into to what they mm. go with it. But uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're thinking about something like this, if you are thinking about picking up the, the, the crochet tool to go with it, maybe it's something you've always done. Maybe you did it as a little girl or a little boy as well yourself, and you want to pick it back up and try it again. Or you've promised yourself something that you want to actually sort of give yourself a go at doing it. Maybe it's an early New Year's resolution uh, that you went. Mm. Maybe you're going to learn a new craft or a new skill for 2021. What well, better time to start, you know, with all of these, which is absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, it's incredible. Mm. Uh, well, do you know what? We're already halfway through the show. No. Uh, <laughs> it's it's crazy. It. <laughs> it re we really are as well. So the process there, we would just continue that, oh, for example, okay. on the main. See, look, it's coming together now. It really is coming together. <laughs> it looks a little bit sparse so far, but you can see we've gone all around the outside and then I'm just filling it in at random all over. And you just keep going with that until it's all full. And then you can give them a little bit of a trim. I just tend to trim them so they're a similar length. Um, but it looks quite good if you just leave it all unruly as well. Looks a bit wilder looking. <laughs> <laughs> is working absolutely beautifully. If you'd like to go for the Wee Woolly uh, Wonderfuls, the Alfred the Lion, the luxury crochet kit, of course, you're getting all the information uh, in there, of course, that you need uh, to be able to make this, include all the ingredients of all the lovely wool, you've got the tools to work in here, you've got the elements as well that to make with the work with the eyes, all of the instructions, of course, that are on there. Uh, that's just £23.99, 235769. Just think about somebody right now that you know would love that if you made it for them. I'm sure you could think of somebody as well. Uh, but
It may just be that you're creating not for somebody, but for something, an occasion. Maybe it is, of course, for a new decoration for yourself that you want to have. Uh, our kids were really excited. We put the, uh, our Christmas duvet covers on for them as well. Um, my, Jed's really happy because on the 24th he's got a pouch he put a present in. So uh, he's, he's really excited about that as well. Um, and we do wash it, by the way. That we, we got... We don't just have that one duvet, that's the, you know, we do, we do wash it every three years, it gets a wash, and it's, no, I'm joking, uh, four years. So, um, it's, uh, but, you know, that, that whole idea, but we pulled out all the decorations. I didn't realise we had so many fluffy snowmen in our collection to put around the place. And you never know, you may be finding a place for a brand new reindeer called Ryan and his little baby reindeer that will go with it. Now, what you're looking at here is brand new uh, to the wee, woolly, wonderful. Uh, that is Ryan, all dressed for the occasion with a gorgeous Christmas red, beautiful, nice warm scarf, as you can see, even with attached bubble that you can see on the side there. That's nice and snug, absolutely gorgeous, with his lovely bright red nose. Uh, to get to make Ryan, you're going to get the instructions, all of the wall to work with this, the crochet tool itself, of course, to work with if you are starting from scratch. You've got your wonderful, beautiful bag to keep it all in while you're working on your project wherever you go. Uh, you've also got the details we have to make for the eyes, for example, that's all in there. And all of the stuffing as well to work with, which is a really lovely, firm quality stuffing that's in here that works with it beautifully. Now, as a bundle, you're also going to get a little mini baby reindeer uh, in here. Again, everything else that you require that goes together to make them both. Now, if you go for both, you're actually going to be getting a £7 saving. That's 732315. If you just want to make uh, the baby reindeer, of course, on his own, then you can do the details for that are separate for it. And that price you'll find on the website yourself to go with that. Uh, but really lovely bundle. Don't forget, everyone that makes a purchase in this sale while stocks last, as all goes, gets a free gift of all your wonderful, bright love heart uh, pins that you can see. And that is a freebie as well for everyone that makes a purchase in the hour whilst stocks last on those. Uh, right, let's work our way down to our little pussycats, our gorgeous little cute kittens that we have here. Uh, now, actually, you're going to have all the wonderful wall of the bundles here to be able to make three of your adorable kittens, but your instructions are actually going to give you uh, the instructions to make all of them in the range of all of the kittens that you can see there. Um, but you will actually get the materials to be making three, but they're all absolutely lovely. They're all named, actually, after uh, sort of on people on your social group, isn't it, actually? All together and they're all based on those little kittens as well yeah yes they all look exactly like them and they've all got their names so. That is lovely. Gives them a little bit more character. You can see the whole gang that's listed there, uh, all of them, and you'll have the instructions to make all of these. As you can see, Dave, Casper, Charlie, Oliver, and Bonnie. Uh, all of the details you'll find there, but you'll have enough of the um, uh, the crochet material to make three of those, which is starting six six four seven two zero, just ninety ninety nine. Now, uh, we've also got... Now, you see, I don't want to cause rivalry between our lions and our reindeers and, uh, and our lovely um, sherbet, but I will tell you, and there's no irony in this, they are neck and neck. Now, I know it's a giraffe, uh, but they are neck and neck. You'd think the giraffe would actually would have the, uh, the, the edge on that one. Uh, but, uh, yes, the, at the moment, I think the giraffe just about has, has, uh, has a slight... Advantage, just the next length at the moment uh, on this. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, bright, colourful. Uh, what was that measurement, Mrs. Produce? Was it 36 inch in? Oh, I've done myself there. 42 inches uh, that we're looking at there from tip to toe. Uh, that you centimeters. centimeters. What did I say? Inches. Sorry about that. S centimeters. There we go. Um, 28.99, and you're going to get everything for the complete kit to make sherbet the rainbow giraffe um, again all of the stuff into instructions the tools uh, the bag to keep it all to work in and at the end of it if, can you imagine if this is your very first teddy that ends up being made for you as well you will always remember sherbet the rainbow giraffe uh, and that's always been a part of your life so uh, think carefully about that one nine two eight five one nine twenty eight ninety nine. think that is gorgeous 
Uh, now, we've also got our lovely little Christmas mice. Uh, you're going to be able to make two of these in this particular set. Uh, this doesn't come with the tools to work with this, so it's, uh, again, if you've already got your own tools. If not, we have got that lovely set of uh, the nine of the crochet tools to work with also. Uh, but here, uh, you're going to be making your lovely little Christmas mice. Uh, they are so cute. Let me just uh, show you here. And so we've got our little mouse here that's got that gorgeous little knitted scarf there with the little furry balls at the end there and his little tail uh, sticking out there and his gorgeous little Christmas hat. Uh, and I love the ears on these. They're so, <laughs> so cute. Really are lovely. So if you'd like to give a little mouse here home, you'll be able to make two. There's a, a little friend here that's got his Christmas jumper on. Uh, there you are. Best mates together. Uh, they're going to look cute, aren't they? Sixteen ninety nine only for a little project there. 761048, uh, which are uh, absolutely lovely. Give me a little Christmas kiss. There we go. Uh, and not even any mistletoe. Oh, you floozy. Uh, right. We've also got... Stay there. Stay there. Um, We've got our line now. We've just been looking at how to make the mane and the tail on these, and it, it is absolutely fantastic, isn't he? Uh, these are, this is Alfred the Lion, the luxury crochet kit. Everything you need to work with him, apart from just a pair of scissors to be a little bit of trimming off, but apart from that, uh, you'll be able to make the wonderful Alfred the Lion, who is absolutely gorgeous. And I do love his swishy tail uh, as well at the back that you can see there, which is absolutely Gorgeous. Again, a really lovely friend in the bedroom there to have a little cuddle with before you send the little ones off to sleep with. But they are beautiful. Twenty three ninety nine. Uh, 235769 if you would like to go for Alfred. Absolutely with all the instructions. Early Bernie Sid, early Bernie Sid, uh, early meet Bernie, Bernie meet Sid. And you're going to have to actually make six of these all together. I know you see three of them on here, but you're going to get so much material to work with. Actually, you can make double that you can see on show, which is absolutely lovely. Um, is it, what, oh, what, what's that? Sorry, I get... A stitch marker. Is there a stitch marker in here shaped like the there elf is, as well? There is, a little elf, yes. Oh, yeah. the stitch marker. There we go. You might be able to see <laughs> in the middle of that little stitch marker there, uh, shaped as an elf. You're going to be getting that as well that's in there. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? And certainly if you're doing this as a gift idea for somebody, all those lovely little touches all coming together. Twenty six ninety nine. This is the complete kit again, by the way. I mean, they're so mischievous, aren't they? Uh, who knows what sort of little situations you could put them in. Uh, but they are gorgeous. Twenty six ninety. Ernie, Bernie and Sid. Now, again, as I mentioned, we're going to give you the chance uh, to choose four patterns here for your pick and mix. And these are brilliant. This is only $9.99. So, you can make the classic teddy bear, you can make your bunny, you can make your hippopotamus and lovely little duck, you can make the little mini lion, we've got the fox on there. We've also got the gorgeous unicorn, I love the unicorn, they're sat in a Christmas tree and the worst game of hide and seek ever by a giraffe. There he is, uh, sat there. And also, just in case you thought that was a really weird hiding place, we've also got the little mini elephant, who is the cutest. There he is. <laughs> we have camera around. Just trying to find him there as well, that we can see. Uh, there he is, uh, just chilling out there on the lights. Uh, just, uh, just almost like a little trapeze artist. Um, but you're getting four lovely crochet patterns for just 90, uh, sorry, 9 nine so there's almost £6 off of that offer, so it's a phenomenal deal for that saving, uh, for just now under a tenner, and don't forget, you're going to be getting that free gift as well with purchase while stocks last, just for making a purchase in the hour. 496814 absolutely love these. Now we mentioned the crochet hooks that are available if you are just starting out. Uh, these are beautiful. You're going to be getting nine of the hooks. Uh, these are the sizes from two up to six mil. Really lovely, soft on the handles as well to work with. Just 15 99 only. 284800 is your item code that you want. They are beautiful. Also, it's got a couple of other items I've noticed for you as well. Uh, maybe you might need a little bit of help with this one, but you've got the uh, flexible arm lighted magnifier that might work. If you're having a struggle sometimes to see the little crochet moments as well, uh, then you've got the hand held. Oh, you've also got the hands free for those. Seven pounds saving on those down to 11 99 
eight, which is gorgeous for you. Uh, we've also got another bundo for you. If you're loving your crochet, then how about this to go with it? Nine crochet books. Now, again, lovely idea for someone as a, as a present for Christmas. If they're really into there, all sorts of great magazines and, and books to work from there for your crochet as well. But look at that for your saving. £53 saving right now down to £24.91, 993327. A great addition to the projects that you can see on the show here right now. Now, we've also got, if you're looking for your cotton, while well, we're working again with our needles here, how about these? 136 kinds in total, each one of those 8 metres each. £17.48, that's 1,088 metres in total for under £20. 715949. Uh, Rightio, that brings us up to date with everything. At uh, least we've got around about uh, 13, 14 minutes or so left in it. Where do, we, where do you think we might be looking at next? Then? Oh, we're going to have a go at Rain, Rain the Reindeer Scarf. Oh, yes, lovely. That lovely scarf. It really yes. stands out, actually, when you're wearing it. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? So I thought we'd, it's a little bit of a different technique. So I'll show you how to do it. Whoops. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a chain. And then we're going to create a scarf. So we're going to start with a slip knot, like so. Pop our hook in. And then we're going to chain seven. Uh, if you haven't chained before, all we do is wrap the wool around and pull it through. And that's one chain. Ah. So we're going to do seven. So look how simple that is. You're dying to give it a go, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I tell you what, I'm enjoying seeing it, though, close up like that to really get it nice and clearly. <laughs> I've lost count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to count your stitches, you can simply just count the V's. It's nice and easy if you lose track. And then instead of working in spirals like we do with most of, um, most of our toys, you're going to be working back and forward in rows to right. create the scarf. So we do it crochet into the first stitch, we crochet into the second stitch, and then we're just going to do a double crochet which will go through, grab the yarn, and yarn over and pull it through. And that's just a double crochet stitch. Oh, I see. So through, grab the yarn, and over top, grab the yarn. And then all we do is work back across the row. So working back and forwards in rows just to make that lovely red scarf, like so. And then we chain one when we get to the end and turn our work over and then we're going to be crocheting back down again. And uh. all we do with this is just keep repeating that until the scarf's long enough to go around his neck. Oh, right. So you could actually make scarves for all of your other wee woolies if you wanted. Yeah, you could, yes. Because you just do the length that's, uh, that fits around. I think he'd need a lot bigger one, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> we did yeah. it with Alfred, he would, yes. He'd need quite a, quite a big one, actually, <laughs> for that, to be honest. So we're just going to chain one and then just work back across. Have you actually got uh, some piece again, just on a re sort of recap on these, on, the, on uh, any of your uh, YouTubes as well, or anything as it talks about? Uh... We've got most of these, yes. We have got the chain yeah. and, and a lot of these on YouTube. Right. Um, there's video, there's full sets of making the giraffes so they're all in a playlist so you can just do them one after another. Oh that's brilliant. But then they're also all separate videos which tell you that this is how to do a chain, this is how to do a double crochet oh, stitch. Okay. So if it's just one thing that you're stuck on, you can go onto the YouTube channel, yeah, find the video for that oh, and it'll brilliant. just show you show you that stitch oh, or that brilliant. technique. Really and we're just nice. always adding to them. Because people are so, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? <laughs> and so we just add another video on, make it yeah, easy. Yeah, no, that's great. So we're just working back and forward, so you can see how it's growing. So once it's big enough to put around his neck, all we do then is we'd finish finish off our wool, sew the two ends together. So we're going to make it into a loop, and then we make a pom pom, and sew it on. Oh, the pom the yeah, the pom-poms are very, very snuggy as well. It's, uh, they are lovely. I'm not sure how you make a pom-pom. Is, is there details for that? <laughs> ah, yes, there is. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. They're really Look easy. how snuggy looks. Absolutely I fantastic. I feel like I want one myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I hope that uh, Ryan, your son, has got one, has he? Or is... <laughs> he doesn't, know. He doesn't. <laughs> 
Ryan? No, it wouldn't be cool enough, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> always, always time for Ryan the, the reindeer. I, I think he would have done a few years ago. But... Yes, yeah. Well, it's funny. We, I think, who would, did we have an email <laughs> just come through, do you say? Who, who's he? he who, Tracy. Ah. Oh. I love this. Tracy, very good evening to you. Tracy's has sent an email through saying that she got her son a bear, one of those places where you can make bears, you know, those kind of buildings, yes. factories, where they make bears, where you build them. You know, the ones as well. Uh, for his <laughs> second birthday, everybody, as well. OK, now, he's now 18, and he said the worst decision he ever made was leaving it at home when he moved to uni. So, uh, you know, he's Aww. one of those, when you're on your own there, you know, especially in lockdown, you can imagine, you're trying to go there. Hick, the teddy was called Hick. See, it's a cool name. Hick, 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 Hick the teddy as well. But uh, teddy's been <laughs> abandoned. Oh, it's like, uh, what's that film? Is it in Toy Story? Is it Toy Story? Toy Story, and other films. Are... It's when he goes to uni and he leaves, and Andy goes, oh. and he left. Oh, the earth is up. So I was, oh. Oh, so like when you watch them go and, uh, and then they whack a bit of sentimental music on as well and it's a toy <laughs> it's a toy but oh, I was there in floods oh so I've gone now sorry how are we getting on there with that uh, oh we're doing really there? well look at this we've nearly got a scarf look at that see it's how quickly it works up see it's coming together really yeah, quick yeah so it's just we just keep trying it round his neck, not quite yet, <laughs> but <laughs> when it looks right. nearly long enough, we just hold it around the neck just to try the size, and then as soon as it's long enough, we just cut the yarn, pop the end through, yeah. pull it to secure, and then just make ourselves a lovely pom-pom. Ah, that's great, end. that's great. And the other thing about that. the projects as well is that if anyone has got any other crochet skills, and they could always add... Mm. To, to the projects as well, like you say, so with a scarf or little booties or anything, mm. if they've got those skills to really sort of create and carry on uh, and uh, continue the journey with them as well, which mm. is lovely. They are beautiful <laughs> and lovely bright colours as well that you've got in the materials yeah. the, in, the, in the wood that we're working with as well, which is, uh, which is always a nice thing. I think that's half the battle, isn't it, making them look gorgeous as well as yes. feel fantastic. But they really are. And uh, I know that you said earlier on that you've got a lot of projects Still, mm. still on your list of uh, to, oh, to achieve. So many, so many that I want to make. I'm in the process of designing one at the moment. Um, so that, that one's uh, going to be coming out, oh, hopefully, right. in okay. a while. Is that a 2021 um, new release, possibly? Yes, yeah. it will be, yes. Not quite this year. It's just so busy over Christmas. Yeah, of course. Obviously, we're, a lot of people seem to be getting them for Christmas presents yeah. for the friends, you know, no, that's giving great. them the, the kits so they can learn how to crochet. And, so it's really busy. So 2021, 2021. some new designs. Yeah, lovely. Have you got out. some dates when you're already coming in for? Do you know at the moment any booked in at the moment when you're going to be to come back here? Yeah. Oh what no, you... we haven't booked it in yet. All oh, right, but okay. we'll definitely Watch be coming space. back. Yes, yes, definitely will be. Watch this space, and, and, and we uh, might have a new design by then, oh, might we? So new for 2021. Yeah, Ryan, you'll have competition. <laughs> so our lovely giraffes and lions as well, which is uh, <laughs> who knows who knows. See how quickly that's growing? It really has come together, yeah, yeah it has. Yes. It has. It's so really quickly. So we just carry on with that until it was long enough and simple as that. I'll just give it, do you want to just give the quick details again finally mm. for, uh, we've got our lovely reindeer just while that's just finishing off. So this is the scarf that's being made for Ryan uh, that you can see, our beautiful reindeer, which is absolutely fantastic. Now it does come as part of the bundle so you can have Ryan and baby, I mean look at them together. They really do look fantastic. There we go, put your arm around there daddy. Uh, so you've got the option to go for both uh, of these uh, of course in that bundle. Now if you're going to go for both you will be getting everything you need in there basically so you'll be finding you've got the tools uh, the bag all the materials all of the stuff in all of that that goes with it and you're going to be getting seven pounds off for that so it's 34.98 and all the step-by-step -step instructions uh, and again if there's any any things you might be looking at but uh, you might be oh hello where did a, a little line pop in from just just wanted a, that was just like wanting to be a little bit I'll just get myself in just do a nice casual pose and uh, I'll just uh, there we go there we go look just lean in there Chillaxing, just for, I'll be both. I'll be with you in a second. I'll be in a second. Um, but uh, you will be getting step by step of everything that you find. Uh, honestly, you've got to keep an eye on them. Um, 
Uh, everything you need to be able to make the reindeers and everything comes with this fantastic step-by-step uh, -step and all of the projects that you are working with. So, uh, really, really nice detail information. Lovely gift idea for somebody. Thirty-four ninety-eight. if you go to go for the complete collection, uh, which, is, which is lovely. Now, come up here, uh, a little... Uh, Little line there. You just sit there, sit there a second as well, then, um, and you can. You know, you're okay now. No, now you're now back centre attention. Uh, so, if you'd like to go for Alfred, uh, the Lion Luxury Crochet Kit, then uh, this is your chance to go for for him. Uh, Twenty three pounds and ninety nine pence, uh, and uh, two three five. Uh, seven six nine is uh, all you're going to try and do, and uh, it's, uh, I tell you what, he's, got, he's, he's a mischievous one. Twenty three ninety nine, and uh, you've got your chance to go for our lovely Alfred the Lion, who is absolutely stunning. I do love them. Twenty three ninety nine, there, absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've got uh, about three minutes left uh, to finish off with uh, our lovely scarf. Is mm. it? Uh, it's pretty much finished now. I think it's, it's getting there. Yeah, it's nearly long there. enough. <laughs> nearly long enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That would probably fit the mini reindeer, the little baby yeah, one. Yeah, I think it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think it would uh, definitely go mm -hmm. for those. And that probably only took about five minutes to do, so... Yeah, nice, nice and nice, quick and simple. easy. So yes. if, anyone, if so anyone's, thinking of, anyone's thinking about having a go at these for the mm -hmm. first time, never picked up mm -hmm. a crochet tool before, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? I mean, as far as from, from a beginner's point of view, how easy to pick up, you know, um, to have a go at? It takes a little bit of practice just to get started, but... As soon as you've as soon as you've got the hang of it, it's one stitch pretty much all the way through. Right. And right. once you've made the giraffe is probably the easiest one to start with. Okay. So because it's got the video tutorials. Once you've made that, you can pretty much make any of our any of our we will is so Yeah, that's great. You can that's... just go on to all of them. Yes, so that's can... the beauty of it. They're all written in the same style, they've all got photos right. to help. Right. And they're all Almost all the same stitch. Yeah, so. yeah. Now that once mm -hmm. like you say once you've got that master, and it's the same as anything, really, mm -hmm. isn't it? When do you once you ever go to start with, we're always a little bit slow to start mm -hmm. with. Where we pick up those skills, yes. but then before you know, it becomes second nature, and you'll be able to work mm -hmm. with all of these. It's a. Uh, I always think about that thing. Someone says, you know, when you write your when you write mm -hmm. your signature out, you know, if you ever tried writing your signature, which we do second nature, don't we? If you tried writing your signature out with the opposite hand, who you work with all the time. <laughs> And you can't go as quick to start with, and it is a mm. lot slower, and it's never quite the same with looking as, the, as when you do it with your dominant hand. But before you know it, if you kept at mm. it, you'll be able to do this, and you'll be able to sort of flow, and who knows, you might be working on to a mm. lockdown line rather than one of the smaller ones you've got in those kits. Um, so there's so much. I really do recommend, if you're, while you've got that price off as well, those uh, pick and mix for those designs, if you're not sure which ones to go for, just have a go at those, because they are so, so good, and they're really fun for all of them, and who knows, just working on one of those, oh, there's the little baby bunnies, for example. Just working on some of those, you've got almost six pounds off uh, for these, and that's for any four to work with, which is a really phenomenal deal. We've got so many in there to have a little go at and uh, a little taste there. Once you've got those initial, uh, the initial work under your belt, the world's your oyster to have a little go at, who knows? Uh, 9 99 only, 4 9 6 Eight one four. There's our there, there's our elephant on some Christmas lights without the aid of a safety net. Uh, what a way to finish our show together. Thank you so much. It's been a lovely, Thank lovely you. show, both of them today. I've really enjoyed Lovely meeting you as yeah, well. You too. And uh, really enjoyed so it. hopefully we'll see you in the mm -hmm. new year then when Definitely, uh, yes. Back. Yeah. But all the best for Christmas. You Wish too. you very well and a happy new year. And uh, we look forward to seeing the new editions mm. hot for 2021. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. Um, Really hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope it's inspired you. Uh, again, just have a little think about, you know, who do you think you would love to make one of these for? Uh, and again, if you remember your first teddy, how about giving them the same as well with your handmade luxury crochet, uh, beautiful character you've seen here as well. So it's been a real pleasure to have your company for this last hour. In fact, last couple of hours. Don't go anywhere, though. We've got even more to take you through the night here on Hachanda. I'll see you soon.